Game two is here of this first round Eastern Conference playoffs matchup between the Philadelphia 76ers and the New York Knicks. You're watching 76ers now by Chat Sports. I'm Chase Sr. No matter where you are, how you're tuned in, we appreciate you for making our Game 2 watch party a part of your evening. Our pregame show is going to take a look back at Game 1, what adjustments do Philadelphia need to make going into Game 2, and what do the Sixers need to do to even up this series at 1-1 at Madison Square Garden, Manhattan. It is going to be electric, just like it was for Game 1, and I heard a very interesting stat before we threw on the headset, we turned on our studio lights at the 76ers in franchise history. 0-19 when they go down in a playoff series 0-2. This is a must win, but the good news for Philadelphia, Joel Embiid playing, Tyrese Maxey playing, and they're going to have to clean up a couple of the things that they did not do well in Game 1 to tip this series off. Now, the New York Knicks, because of the questionable injury statuses of Joel Embiid, Tyrese Maxey, six-point favorites in this game. In game one, New York, five, five-and-a-half-point favorites, depending on what sports book you looked at. The over-under for this matchup, 203-and-a-half. So once again, it is going to be a defensive battle, a battle to 100 points. Possessions are going to be extremely valuable all throughout the duration of this basketball game and tip-off set about 19 minutes from now, regardless of where you're watching. Where are you watching from? Let us know down in the comment section here, and we'll start to give you some shout-outs. Go Birds 21 saying F the New York Knicks. Collins K85 was with us for the playing tournament game, with us for game one, back yet again. Time in the Buckeye. I'm so sorry that our 76ers beat your Miami Heat, but they took care of business. Ernesto Ojeda, Tucson, Arizona, as always. Go Birds 21 is in Philadelphia. Time in the Buckeye, Ohio. Greg G is at home in the Philadelphia area. The winner of our 76er shorts from that play-in tournament game. Luke Gillen, who do you think the Eagles are going to pick up in the NFL draft? I think they might trade up for a cornerback. That's the recent buzz. Keep an eye out for Tarion Arnold or Quinian Mitchell. Go Birds 21. I'm a Philly sports fan for life, so you tune in to Philadelphia Eagles now as well. If you want the Sixers to bounce back and win this game, we're going to go through our keys. We're going to set the table for this matchup. I need everybody watching right now to hit that thumbs up icon like the video. We have 23 people watching live for our pregame show. That number is only going to continue to increase all throughout the night. So please make sure you hit that thumbs up icon right now. Our sponsor for our watch party is Prize Picks, the best daily fantasy sports app in the game. And they make daily fantasy sports so, so easy, where you pick two or more players, you choose more or less on their projected stat lines, and you can win up to 25 times your money. Sign up today and get a $100 deposit match at prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use the code CLNS for that deal to apply. Here are our selections for tonight. Nikola Jokic, Price Picks still running a special with the two-time MVP, more than a half point. Tyrese Maxey, more than 27 and a half points. It's the flu game for the Mad Max. Kyle Lowry, more than 12 points and assists. He was excellent in game one with 18 points. And then Josh Hart, less than 11 rebounds. He had a double-double, a couple of clutch threes in that game one. Is that sustainable? We don't think so. Win big money, withdraw your winnings, pick more, pick less, prize picks today. That link is down below in the comment section and in the show notes of our video. Let's look back at game one in this first round series between New York and Philadelphia. Sibling rivals, Amtrak series, Turnpike series. First time they've met in the postseason since 1989. And it was one of two quality game ones all across the NBA playoffs. And every home team across the board to tip off the playoffs, did end up winning their game one matchup. So nothing different than with this Knicks Sixers game. Final score, 111-104. Philadelphia dominated the first and third quarters. The New York Knicks 
dominated the second quarter, were clutch in that fourth quarter because of the Sixers' defensive strategy. Double up and hone in on Jalen Brunson, leave other players open, including Josh Hart, and that burned Philadelphia. Most importantly, the Sixers dominated on the offensive glass, which then led to a lot of second chance points for New York. They also crushed the Sixers with transition opportunities. It's just simply not sustainable to get dominated on the glass night in, night out. So I think Philadelphia is going to be able to make some of those adjustments. We might see some lineup changes. Maybe Joel Embiid plays a little bit with Paul Reed, giving the Sixers a little bit more size. Unfortunately, Tobias Harris is going to start. Is he going to be on a short leash? Hopefully. Could we see some Ricky Council minutes? I think that is a possibility in this game too as well. 76ers injury report, you just never know with this basketball team. But we do know now that Joel Embiid is going to play, suffered that left knee injury in game one, re-aggravated that same knee that he had surgery on, and injured against the Orlando Magic a couple of Fridays ago. So that was two times in which Embiid had to leave the floor. Same knee injury that he injured twice in nine days. Some people speculating that he was tearing some cartilage, and when that happens, you think that you suffered some severe injury. There's also a conspiracy theory out there that even though Joel Embiid has that knee injury, some people think there's something wrong with his eye because he left MSG wearing shades on Sunday and then was that shoot around today wearing shades. Tyrese Maxey going to play with that illness. He was not at shoot around this morning. DeAnthony Melton out because of a back injury. Robert Covington out with the back injury as well. Let's get the comment section going, man. Let's get 576s in the chat. Spam the comment section with those 76s right now. We want to get the good vibes flowing here on 76ers. Now a must win game for the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6ers, the 10, 9, 8, 76ers. Producer Chip, my right hand man, my guy, here to my right on the ones and twos, making the entire show possible. What is happening, brother? Let's go, baby. Let's go. Game two. Got to take home court away from the Knicks here. They always say a series doesn't start until a team wins on the road. So let's get it started tonight. I, I was telling Chase before we started, I want nothing more than to have the Sixers come into New York and just blow out the Knicks tonight. After what happened that first game, Chase was talking about it. Knicks fans acting like they won the finals already because they won game one. It's a seven-game series. Seven-game series. Got to win four games. Let's pick up our first one tonight. Come on. And I talked about this in our post-game show after game one. I gave the New York Knicks credit. Their effort was impressive. Josh Hart took advantage of the opportunities that he had to put the biscuit in the basket from deep. Philadelphia did a great job on Jalen Brunson, but other players really stepped up for New York. Miles McBride was sensational. Bogdan Bogdanovich hit a couple of clutch buckets. But the Knicks and their fans, in hilarious fashion, celebrating that Game 1 win like they won the NBA Finals with chance of Knicks in four, we want Boston, F. Joel Embiid. They were even saying F. Trey Young. And this is after they celebrated that game one win against the Atlanta Hawks a few years ago. And then the Hawks ended up winning that series. So I love the intensity of this matchup. New York, Philadelphia, they hate one another as residents, as sports fans. You can tell there's bad blood between these two teams. The ratings for this game and this series have been and are going to be sensational but if you win this game too, you go back to the Wells Fargo Center, game three on Thursday night, it's going to be electric in South Philadelphia. And like Chip said, you can claim home court advantage back on your side. So let's talk about how the 76ers here can bounce back. I think it starts and it ends with rebounding, rebounding, rebounding. The Sixers out-rebounded by 20 overall and just dominated on the offensive glass. And all of the bounces were going the Knicks' way. They were fighting more valiantly for some of those rebounds as well. And what does that do? It takes the wind out beneath your sails. 
but it also leads to second chance opportunities and open looks because when you crash the glass, there are players who are left vacant around the three-point perimeter, and then you try to hustle to get out there. They beat you off the dribble. It causes so many issues, and I think this game is going to be a little bit closer in that regard because the Sixers turn on the tape, and they understand that they have to do a better job of effort but the ball is not going to bounce the New York Knicks way as many times in game two as it did in game one. And if that's the case, the basketball gods are just against Philadelphia. But in all seriousness, it's going to lead to some lineup changes, I think, for the Sixers. Joel Embiid, Paul Reed might share the floor. We might see some more Joel Embiid and Nicholas Batum minutes. Tobias Harris, who was awful in his pursuit of some of those loose balls. The awareness, just disgusting. He might get benched for a player like Ricky Council at moments. So rebounding, 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 the Sixers have to, and I mean have to, do a better job in that regard. Number two, and this ties back to number one, the Knicks are known as a team that hustles. And in the regular season, they're diving for loose balls, chasing down the loose pill. They were a team that gave it 110% night in, night out because that is the Tom Thibodeau strategy. That's what he preaches. From the Chicago Bulls to the Timberwolves to the Knicks, he always has teams that have a fortified culture of playing hard. Now, Nick Nurse in Philadelphia, they have this year. They've been a tough physical team, but they got outmanned in that area in game one. Number three. Nick Nurse said Buddy Heald in game one had a couple of opportunities, but he didn't really play all that well. When the Knicks drop back in that zone, when the Knicks play defensively like they do, when the Sixers are looking for a bucket, they need somebody who can space the floor and create a little bit off the dribble. That's what Buddy Heald's strengths are supposed to be, but my goodness, from where he was after the Sixers acquired him and what you thought the Sixers were getting to what we've gotten from Buddy Heald over the last couple of months, because it's been a long time, is such a large gap. Where is the Buddy that's not afraid to shoot the basketball, that has that rocket launcher from deep? He almost looks gun-shy from distance. Here's what Nick Nurse had to say about Buddy Heald. Listen, Buddy didn't get much of a chance on Saturday. He didn't have... Uh, he did have a couple of plays out there, excuse me. He didn't play good. It's a game where you can't extend minutes when a guy has three or four mistakes. But I do say this, he will be a factor in this series. I'm telling you right now, Buddy Heald needs to be a factor in this series because the Sixers need that type of skill set. At number four, got to continue to make Jalen Brunson work. For all of the things that we've been talking about that could go the Sixers' way in game two, where they didn't go the Sixers' way in game one, What's concerning is that Jalen Brunson played maybe his worst game of the season against the 76ers in game one. You have to expect that he's going to be able to rebound and get back to that MVP level form. Now, the Sixers' strategy in that game one, hound Brunson, throw double teams his way, switch all the time, 22 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists. He was 8 of 26 from the floor, 1 of 6 from 3. Everything with the Knicks, and we've talked about this in our preview during the game, in the lead-up, in the aftermath of that game one, it starts and ends with Jalen Brunson. So the strategy on Brunson can't really differ. He still has to be the focal point for you defensively, but you also just can't afford to, on those defensive rotations, leave other players wide open. Their NBA players are going to bury those opportunities and put the ball down the hatch. And that brings us to number five, Miles McBride. Torched the Sixers earlier this year, was unconscious from deep. Basically, had a similar performance in that game one. Bogdan Bogdanovich, I thought was tremendous. Mitchell Robinson on the, off the bench made Joel Embiid go 0-5 in that fourth quarter, and you could tell Embiid was struggling against the physicality of Mitchell Robinson, and he was a little bit hobbled by that leg. He just could not get any lift. But Miles McBride had a lot of open opportunities, too. Also drilled some contested pull-up three-pointers. Five of seven from three. If he does that every game of this series, you're just going home early, and you're going to hit the golf course in New Jersey, in Florida, in Delaware, somewhere in the tri-state area. And then Boyan Bogdanovich, uh, not Bogdan Bogdanovich, Boyan Bogdanovich, with the 13 points, I thought a lot of his buckets were timely. He did go four of 12, 33% from the floor, 
But some of those timely buckets were three-pointers, and he went three of six from downtown. So, Chip, you look at those keys to the game for Philadelphia. That's the guide to winning this game, too. You win this game, too. The series is so much different. It takes a massive turn. You lose this game, too. You're in a very precarious position. Absolutely. Look, you have a chance right now to steal home court, as we said, and gain momentum. Yep. And go back to Philadelphia with a chance to win two home games and go up 3-1 to one in this series. That's why I, I think when you're ranking most important games in a series, right? You know, obviously Game 7. If you get to a Game 7, it's the most important game of the series. You either win or you lose, right? After that, you know, I think a Game 5 when the series is tied 2-2 is very pivotal. And I think a Game 2 is very pivotal because there's such a big difference, especially mentally as a player, having to fight back down 0-2 versus going back home tied 1-1 knowing we got two home games here. We got a chance to really put this series away, whereas if you lose this game, you're going back home saying, okay, now we got to fight, we got to scrub, we got to claw at home just to tie up the series. So, yeah. look, they had a chance to win game one, couldn't close it out. Nick Batum saying that they got some big adjustments cooked up. We said, you know, Nick Nurse said, maybe we see some Paul Reed minutes. You know, maybe we see a rookie council. Maybe we see more campaign. Who knows, right? Especially with Maxie's illness. I assume he'll play normal minutes, but you never know with, with an illness. So, got to come out tonight. Got to get the dub, baby. Got to get, get the, the dub. Because going down 2-0, two, two it's not the end of the world, but it's not ideal. 40 people watching live right now. If you haven't hit that thumbs up icon to like the video yet, please do that right now. About to get this game underway. Game two, Madison Square Garden. First round, Eastern Conference playoffs. It really doesn't get much better than this, than a hostile rivalry between these two regional rivals and these two sibling cities in the Northeast. As I said in the lead up to game one, you can't write the history of America without including America's birthplace, Philadelphia, and then New York, maybe one of the most iconic cities in the entire world without New York and Philly. So it's part of the reason why we're all so juiced up for this matchup here. If you hate the Knicks, type F-N-Y-K in the chat. F the I Knicks. see Go Birds 21 has been doing that a lot. I need everybody to start doing that right now. F-N-Y-K. We're close to tip off. Let's get these vibes going, baby. F the Knicks. F Marshall. Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's take a look at our Super Chat menu as well. If you so kindly want to donate to the show, here's our Super Chat menu. We're doing a pregame Super Chat menu, though. And you can see down below Chip and I, the countdown to tip-off clock. We're going 50% off menu right now for our pregame Super Chat menu. So if you send in a $5 Super Chat, you get in the running to win a Tyrese Maxey jersey. $10 gets you five raffle tickets for a Tyrese Maxey jersey. And we'll give that away at the end of the series. $20, we get to crack our drinks, and you make us drink. That's our pregame Super Chat menu. And as you can see, limited time only on that. Because once the game gets underway, we're going to go back to our ordinary Super Chat menu here on 76ers now. Game 2 live stream, Game 2 watch party right here on the program. Game also going to be played on TNT, not ESPN ABC like we did see on Saturday night. And you can expect a lot of celebrities to be on hand at Madison Square Garden. And the electricity in the building is certainly going to be palpable. Reed Barkus, let's go, boys. Reed, are you coming on Thursday for the draft? Will we see you later this week? There you go, Chip. Yeah, we went live a little bit later because we have these blinds in our studio, but the sun was coming through a small crack in the blinds and showing up on our backdrop. So we had to try to figure that out. What Chip just did was he put a roll of paper towels wedged in between the blinds and the ceiling with the paper towels coming down to shield the light. That's a smart man on the ones and twos right there. That's how you make an adjustment. That's how you make an in-game adjustment on the fly. Reed will be there for a week, all right. 
You're going to shack up a trace or you, they get you a hotel or what? I think he's shacking up with me. Shacking up with you. Nice. So you lose Allie, but you gain Reed. Yeah, exactly. You know, there one you gone, go. <laughs> e even better one coming in. Lisa Chipper! A $20 super chat. We'll give her, what, 10 raffle tickets as well, right? Yeah, sure. Give her 10 raffle 20. tickets too. Lisa Chipper with the 20. Drink! Let's go, Sixers! Who else is going to match that 20 coming in from Lisa Chipper? You get in the running to win a Tyrese Maxi jersey. Thanks to our friends at Fanatics. Cheers to everybody for hanging out here with us for our Game 2 watch party. We're ready to get it underway. And as evidenced Ooh. by the countdown to tip-off clock, this game about to get started. I think they're a little bit later on TNT. So you still got time. You still got time. Until still got time for tips. the pregame Super Chat menu. Let's get it started. Let's get it started, yeah. Let's go, baby. Beautiful day in New York City. Blue skies, not many clouds in the sky. Fans walking into Madison Square Garden still as we speak. Knicks fans celebrated game one like it was an NBA Finals dub. If they ever end up winning the NBA Finals, they might need to call the National Guard. Not a seat available at the Mecca, otherwise known as MSG. A lot of speculation about Joel Embiid's eye health. We haven't seen him without shades since the end of that game on Saturday night. The eye looks okay. I have seen some weird stuff about that eye. Embiid did not do much in shoot-around, according to Chris Haynes, the sideline reporter for TNT. Tyrese Maxey, a game-time decision as well. The determination that he was going to play just came forward about a half hour, 45 minutes ago. Maxey's still smiling, as he always is. And he's dapping up Spike Lee. Careful, Spike. You don't want to get those flu germs. Greg G said, let's get this game started. Let's get it started. We're moments away. Who you got? S for the Sixers, K for the Knicks. 45 people watching live. Please make sure you hit that thumbs up icon like the video. Starters for the Sixers going to be Joel Embiid, Tyrese Maxey, Kyle Lowry, Tobias Harris, Kelly Oubre, starters for the Knicks. Jalen Brunson, Dante DiVincenzo, Isaiah Hartenstein. Josh Hart as well. And we're going to tip it off from center circle. OG Ananobi, the other Knicks starter, is somehow going to come up with the loose ball as the Knicks win the tip. And here we go from Madison Square Garden. DiVincenzo has the ball. Just past half court, going to go to his left to Jalen Brunson. He's guarded by Kelly Oubre, comes off the screen, mid-range pull-up. He clanked it. Hartenstein with the rebound, tried to send it to Hart, intercepted by Kyle Lowry. He's going to bring the ball up, send it to Oubre. Oubre drives, reverse layup, blocked by Hartenstein, and B gets the loose ball. He goes up with it. He tried to draw a foul. Whistle silent. Loose ball picked up by DiVincenzo, and he's fouled by Kelly Oubre. Yep, already an offensive rebound for the Knicks by Hartenstein. Luckily, Lowry there was there to pick off the pass. Knicks will inbound it. New York moving right to left offensively. Sixers left to right. DiVincenzo guarded by Maxi. Shot clock at 10 to Hartenstein. Back to DiVincenzo guarded by Embiid now. And Embiid is going to grab DiVincenzo, but off-ball foul called on the screen on Hartenstein. A moving screen on Maxi. Ball going the other way. Lowry running point, gives it up to Embiid. 
Guarded by Hartenstein. Scoop pass. Maxi comes off the screen. Three-pointer. Got it. And that breaks the scoreless tie. Tyrese Maxey from the left wing buries that triple. 3-0 Philadelphia. DiVincenzo up top. Sends it to Ananobi. Two-man game with Hartenstein. Lost his footing. Goes to Brunson. He drives baseline. Nowhere to go. He's guarded by Embiid. Tries to take Embiid. Step back three. Well short. Long rebound goes to Maxey. Sixers have numbers. Three on two. To Lowry, out to Maxi, three pointer, good again. Maxi, two and two from deep, six nothing Sixers. Hart, the game one hero, has it left wing. To his right to Brunson. Brunson hounded again. Ananobi, out to Hart, wide open three, can't stick it. Tobias Harris with the board. He'll push. Wants to take DiVincenzo. He does. Rises up with the floater. No good. Ball out of bounds. And they're going to say it's Sixers basketball. Nick Nurse calling for a foul. Sixers will inbound beneath their hoop. Maxi looks good so far. 2-2 two two from Trifecta Land. Kyle Lowry will inbound. Maxi comes off the screen. Another three. He hits it again. Mad Max, 3-3 three three from deep. 9-0 Sixers spurt to start this game. Brunson nearly gives it up. Hart picks up the loose change. Ball goes out of bounds. And it was either Lowry or Maxi who hit it off DiVincenzo. What a start for Maxi. Let's get those zeros going for Maxi. 9-0 Sixers. Nine and a half to go in this first. Embiid. Double team, now single teamed against Hartenstein. Hits him with the stutter step. Jumper mid range, short. Hart gonna drive on Embiid. Lays it up and in. Tough drive for Hart. You can tell Embiid is a little bit worried on that knee. He has not tried to. Commit any back downs or take it to the cup. He's really given the ball up outside of that last jumper. Here he is again from 16 feet. Hartenstein on him. And B going to stick the 16-footer right in the eye hole of Hartenstein. 11-2 Philadelphia. So in game one, really dominated the first frame. Sixers so far so good. Three and a half minutes in. Brunson, guarded by Oubre. Runner, missed it. Harris, picks up the rebound. He's trying to drive. Good defense by Hart. Out to Maxi. Maxi, another three. It's no good. And the miss tipped out of bounds by Philadelphia. If you haven't hit that sub button right now for year-round Sixers coverage, please do so right now. Trying to get to 15,000 subscribers by the end of the series. Brunson far side to Hart, to DiVincenzo, to Hartenstein. Good ball movement here for New York. Leads to an open DiVincenzo three. Good. So that aforementioned good ball movement led to an open look for one of the other Villanova stars, DiVincenzo. 11-5 Sixers. And B now has it top of the key to Harris for three. Off the mark. DiVincenzo skies for the rebound. He's now doubled. He's going to drive. Wide open Hart. He missed it. No foul on Lowry. I thought there was some contact there. Harris, Euro step off the glass and through. Sixers get out in transition there. And they up the lead to 13-5. Can that be a confidence booster for Tobias Harris, whose confidence has been cooked? Angelo, $5 super chat. Brunson fakes the handoff to Ananobi. Ball poked free. And they're going to call a foul on Lowry. He's telling Nick Nurse to challenge it. Brunson tried to set the charge on Harris. He got free with the Euro. And a good flop by Brunson there to draw the foul. He's going to go to the line for two. 
Again, 22 points, 8 of 26 from the floor. Sixers did a good job against him in that game one. Angelo, thank you so much for the five and for watching us on Eagles now and 76ers now. We appreciate you. Daniel Lenick, I can't take this. Too stressful. I'll check in later. That's part of the deal of playoff basketball, man. This is probably the least stressful it's going to be all game. Seriously. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. When you start off like this, you'll take it. So Brunson good on the first free throw. 13-6. Misses the back end. So it remains a 7-point Sixers advantage. Maxi far side, double teamed, out to Embiid, thought about a three, hands it off to Maxi. Maxi through his legs, can't shake Ananobi, to Embiid, shot clock at eight. Embiid gets doubled, trying to find real estate to Ubre, middle of the lane, 12 footer, gets it to go. Just a little push shot for KO. 17 or 15 6, excuse me, Philadelphia approaching the halfway mark of this first. Ananobi, hand off to Brunson, cross court to Hart, hand off to DiVincenzo. Lowry switches. DiVincenzo off the screen, another three, swishes it in. Two three pointers for Dante DiVincenzo, 15 9 Sixers. Ubre to Harris. Harris wants a screen from Lowry. He gets double to Lowry. He takes a three. And as he tries his hand, his three-pointer is long. Here come the Knicks. Brunson pull up triple. Well off. All of his misses have not been close. Sixer, six of 13 from the field. Knicks three and nine. Maxi guarded by Ananobi. Hartenstein switches on to him. Maxi bounce pass to Embiid. He backs down Ananobi to Maxi. Maxi gets tripped by DiVincenzo. Foul on the floor. And we're going to take a timeout on the floor. A good start for the 76ers here. 15 to 9. Grade the Sixers' performance so far, A, B, C, D, or F. What do you think of it? Pretty decent start so far. Now, they got up to a good start last time as well. An A from Greg. What up, Greg? Greg, what up? Giving us an A grade for that Sixers' first half of the first quarter, pretty much. Angelo, A minus. The one thing I'll say is... Got to clean up, so, you know, they're running DiVincenzo around these screens and Embiid's dropping hard, dropping Drop deep coverage, on him. Yeah. So DiVincenzo's getting a few open looks from three. He's not a guy you want to let get hot, but once again, Jalen Brunson struggling. Struggling out the gate. Love what Oubre's done on him. Just crazy the Sixers got Oubre for the minimum for nothing. What's up with the X and Ova players? Big debate in Philly if... Nova is a Philly school right now. It's a Philadelphia <laughs> area school. Philadelphia like area school. Philadelphia area. The main line, not in Philadelphia. But they're a part of the Big Five. So they're a part of Philadelphia sports history, but a Philadelphia area school. Tyrese Maxey started off strong fighting the illness. So I'll go with an A from A.H. Dementor. That's good stuff right there. Whoever hasn't hit that thumbs up icon to like the video, please do that right now. It'll help more people find the stream here on YouTube. Our Knicks channel that we're competing against here at Chat Sports is a massive channel. So they're taking up a lot of the attention. So let's get those likes up. Let's go, Draw man. some more eyeballs over here. If we can get to 40 likes, we're six away. 40 likes before we come back from commercial. I'm chugging this happy dad. I'm chugging for five seconds of this happy dad. We're five likes away, baby. You like the video, we drink. We get to drinking, because it's game day, baby. That's what we do. We have some fun. We have some fun chopping up with the people. That's what we like to do. Go Birds, giving it an A so far. Good start. But it's we're really going to see how this game is going once the Knicks bench comes in. Because that's really where the Sixers struggled. I think Miles McBride was a plus 30... 
Was he a plus 36? Yes. Some absurd number in game yep. one. And it was only a, what, seven point win for the Knicks? And he was a plus 36 off the bench? Yep. Unacceptable, unacceptable. We're one like, oh, now we're two likes away. Somebody unliked. 64 people watching live, though. See what happens? You like uh, the video, more people find the stream. 40 likes, there we are. Aaron Fitzgerald, hey, Chase, can't wait for your off-season streams. We'll definitely go live during free agency. We did that last year. It was a blast. And we want to continue to grow this channel as much as possible. And that's why we're so adamant about giving you year-round coverage. And we encourage you to subscribe to the show. Therefore, we can continue to build the 76ers Now Empire. $25 in Super Chats. Thanks to everybody who's donated to the show so far, if you want to do that. You can send in a super chat, rectangular box with the dollar sign through it, right by where you insert your comments. Cheers to the like count. And Maxi, going to inbound to Embiid, and we're back and running. Switches on to Hartenstein, tries to shake him. In and out dribble, left-handed layup. No good. Embiid fights for the rebound. He gets it back, and then he gets fouled on the putback opportunity. So Embiid scrapping down low. He's going to go to the line. First quarter of game one, Embiid was terrific. He looked in shape. Stamina was awesome. 15 points. Rest of the game, he only had 14. 0-5 in the fourth. Now they're going to put Mitchell Robinson on Embiid, who Embiid really struggled against. And he's going to have to get a lot of these points at the free throw line if he can't really get push off with that knee. Misses the first free throw. Not good. So Mitchell Robinson does check in for the Knicks. He's got the weight to throw around with Embiid. And the physicality. That's what caused some issues in game one. Second free throw for Embiid. Sends it in. Buddy Heald, Nick Batum checking in for Philadelphia. So you have Batum, Heald, Embiid, Harris, Maxi. So Nick Nurse going big with Batum and Embiid here. And Harris in the game. Mitchell Robinson going to hand it off to Hart. He's guarded by Heald. Step back along the baseline, rattles in. Hart is on the board, 16-11, Philadelphia, under five to go in the opening quarter. Maxi hand off to Embiid, takes a three. Good! Joel Embiid with the triple. His first field goal of the game, or no, second field goal of the game. He's got six. Brunson, step back near the baseline on the right side. That's Cash. His first field goal of the game. That I am sure of. And Bede's going to take another three. Clanked it way long. DiVincenzo. Knicks out on the run. DiVincenzo stripped by Harris. A heady defensive play. Harris forces the steal and notches the steal. Now he'll drive on Ananobi. Good defense by Ananobi. Harris can't finish. You wish that he played a little bit bigger sometimes. Brunson thought about driving. He backs it back out. He's guarded by Heald. This is a mismatch. Brunson puts his shoulder into him, into the mid-range. Good defense by Heald. Shot clock at five. Hart has it. Right wing. He's going to try to take Harris. Harris pokes the ball away. And then Hart flops after Embiid hit him. They're not going to call a foul. I guarantee you they're going to look at this, though, because of the flop. Oh, come on. There's no way, right? There's no way, right? Hey, yo, look at the flop. Look at the arms. Look at the arms flailing back. It's such a flop. Oh, my God, they're going to look at it. Of course, course they're going to review it. I will say, I don't think Embiid's arm really extended. So I, in terms of the criteria they look for when they make these type of calls, they're looking for that arm extension. I don't see it. I, don't, I didn't see the arm extending. Let's see. 
No, there's no arm extension. There's no follow through. The only reason they call Flagrant on Embiid is because of his previous history. It's not to the head or neck area. It was to the shoulder, to the chest. No. I think he was protecting himself, put his arm out. Josh Hart was coming in out of control a million miles an hour. They're going to call flagrant on him. <laughs> oh, no. They're going to call it. flagrant on him. I've seen this story before. And it's going to get Knicks fans pumped up. See, the flop came after the contact. No foul! Let's go! The NBA has learned its lesson. Now Embiid's going to the official asking about a flop. The flopping epidemic. It's a serious problem in the NBA. All right, so 1.8 on the shot clock here for the Knicks. Brunson will inbound underneath the hoop. Almost to five seconds there. And an Obi from the corner rattles out. Sixers fight for the loose ball. Batum batted it to Embiid. And here come the Sixers. Embiid, Euro into the lane, gets fouled by Mitchell Robinson. He's going to go to the line for two. I liked how Embiid moved there with the Euro because that first plant leg on the Euro was the left. Definitely encouraging. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he did definitely wasn't full impact on it. But the fact that he's at least confident enough to, to do that, I think a lot of it's mental. So good to see him trying that out at least. And Bede, one bounce, slight bend of the knees, hits the first free throw. Sixers back up by seven, 20 to 13, 331 left in this first quarter. The Sixers this year, as we know, it's well documented. 31 and 8 with Embiid. 16 and 27 without him. The point differential plus four with him. Points per game 120 with him. 110 without him. MVP of the league when he was healthy this year, in my opinion. But continues to be snake bitten by injuries at the most inopportune times. And B misses the second free throw. So he's two of four from the line. Nick's going to run. Hart drives on Embiid. Embiid hits it off of Hart. It goes out of bounds off Hart. Sixers basketball. That's a good job by Embiid to not sulk after the missed free throw and to get back on defense there. Still 20 to 13. Heel crosses half court. Shovels it to Embiid. Embiid to heel. Heel comes off the screen. Step back. Guarded by Brunson. Good close there. Gives it up to Lowry. Shot clock at six. Embiid has it on Robinson. Spins off him into the lane. Reverse layup, no good. Tip in, good. So Joel Embiid looked a little bit timid on that left knee to start this game, but he started to really insert his will on the offensive end of the floor the last couple of minutes. Boyan Bogdanovich in the game. Mid-range on Batum, off the mark. Heeled rebound right around the free throw line. Sixers not giving up a bunch of offensive rebounds like they did in game one. And beat out to Lowry for three. It's short. He was great in game one. Hustle plays defense, hit a couple of threes, 18 points. Oh, a two, though, so far is Kyle Lowry. Robinson entry pass to Brunson. Ball batted away. There's a fight for it. Brunson out to Bogdanovich to a wide open heart for three in the corner. Got it. Josh Hart picking right up. From where he left off in that game one, seven points on three of six shooting. Nick Nurse going to call a timeout. I just love the intensity 
of this game here. I love the intensity of this series. It is a back and forth, even matchup. If Joel Embiid can stay 80% healthy, I'm telling you, the Sixers have a chance. You have a chance to win big time money with Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app in North America. Get a $100 deposit match at prizepicks.com slash CLNS. You pick two or more players. You choose more or less on their projected stats. Our selections, Nikola Jokic, more than a half point game two against the Lakers. That's a great prize pick special. Tyrese Maxey in fuego to start this game. Let's go more than 27 and a half points. Kyle Lowry, more than 12 points and dimes. And Josh Hart, less than 11 rebounds. Win big money, withdraw your winnings within the prize picks. At pick more, pick less prize picks. Today, let's give a shout out to some recent commenters here. A.H. Dementor, Joe Casey, Angelo, Aaron Fitzgerald, Reed Barkus, Go Birds 21. I see you down in the comment section. Shout out to y'all. We did have a spike in audience. Let's have another spike. If you haven't hit that thumbs up icon and like the video so far, do that right now. And during this commercial break, we can take any questions that you have for us down in the comment section. Yes, sir. Let's chop it up, baby. Let's chop it up. Span those 76s. Let us know your thoughts so far in the game. When we get to 50 likes, I'm chugging, I'm chugging more of my happy dad. We're two likes away. Let's get there. Aaron Fitzgerald, Ernesto, type in those seven sixes in the chat. A.H. Dementor, I see you as well. A.H. also saying Sixers need to work a little bit harder on the defensive end of the floor. Look, two minutes to go in this first, and the Knicks have 16 points. Now, just like game one, the non-Joel Embiid minutes are going to be huge. He has not sat yet in this opening quarter. Is he going to sit after this Nick Nurse timeout or to start the second quarter? We'll see if there's a difference in strategy there for the 76ers head coach. But those non-Embiid minutes, the Knicks were able to take advantage of them in that game too. They outscored Philadelphia 33-12 in that second quarter. Have to guard Hart better, Greg. I agree, and I think that's why Nick Nurse called the timeout. The... Defensive strategy in game one was to double and throw the kitchen sink at Brunson, leave other guys open. Part of that strategy, they left Josh Hart open. All game, he wasn't that great. Fourth quarter, he caught fire. Now in this game, he's already hit three field goals, and he just hit that three from the corner. And then Nick Nurse called a timeout. I think he's going to change up the defensive look, the defensive strategy here Last two minutes of this first quarter, but that could also translate to the rest of this game. Well, that's why I love having a coach like Nick Nurse too, who's willing to make in-game adjustments. When you're playing the Knicks, you know you gotta give, you gotta, gotta give, you gotta take. Yeah. Josh Hart's not a great three-point shooter; he just isn't. But in this series so far, he has been. So what does Nick Nurse do? He doesn't just stick to his gun and say, "Oh, well, he's gonna miss them eventually." He says, "No, he's hurting us from this spot. He's getting too many wide-open looks." So let's, let's change something instead of just, oh, I'm sure he'll start missing. Because guess what? What if he doesn't? Then all of a sudden you go four for eight like he did last game. So Richard Lee is a huge basketball fan. He watches all of our chat sports shows. He said, I love how the Sixers are rebounding. There's definitely an emphasis there. Coming out of the timeout, Embiid takes the inbounds, takes the three. Bang! It's good! Joel Embiid, the second half of this first quarter, starting to find a groove. Sixers up by nine. Brunson guarded by Heald. He's going to want him here. Spins, takes the mid-range, back iron off the mark. Oubre climbs the ladder for the rebound, showing off that vertical leap. Embiid has it up top, hands it off to Oubre. Oubre into the lane, floater, he missed it. It was a bunny, it was right there. Hart will push, out to Brunson, to Bogdanovich, open three, good close by Batum. Hart fights for it, finds Brunson, mid-range pull-up, cookies. Knicks within seven. One minute left, Brunson, five points, two of seven. Embiid. Ball poked away by Robinson, but it goes to Lowry. Almost a steal for New York. Shot clock at seven. Embiid spins off Robinson. He pumps. Fade away jumper. No good. Lowry held down. No foul. Here comes New York. Out to McBride. Open three and transition. He airmailed it.
The Knicks are saying that McBride's shot was blocked and that it should be Knicks basketball. But the official said it's Sixers basketball. They're going to review it. It's going to be Knicks ball. Nobody was even close to McBride, though. So did somebody touch it coming off the airmail? Now that I think about it, Batum did kind of hesitate at whether or not to go toward the ball. Ah, yeah, Batum did touch it. Now they're looking at the shot clock here. They might reset that. They're going to reset the shot clock to 17, game clock at 36. Brunson will inbound to Robinson, hand off to Brunson, has some real estate into the lane. Good defense there by Embiid, and a good rebound by Batum. Will the Sixers go two for one? Oubre into the lane, can't finish among the trees. Another miss at point blank range for Oubre. Shot clock unplugged, Nick's going to hold. Brunson. On the Knicks logo, just past half court. Game clock at 10. And Sixers have a foul to use, so Heald is going to foul Brunson. And the game clock at an even 10 seconds here. Now Tobias Harris will check in for Buddy Heald. You sub in defense and take out Heald for offense. Still plenty of time for the Knicks to get a shot off here and create an opportunity. Brunson inbounding again to McBride. McBride fakes the handoff. He's going to drive on Harris. Misses it. And Bede gets it back. Lost it. And they're going to call him for a walk, but he never had possession of the basketball. First Sixers turnover of the game. Hart hit the ball out of his hand. Knicks get a bucket here. That's a huge momentum swing. Brunson inbounds to Bogdanovich. Fakes the handoff. Drives. Blocked. Going to go out of bounds. All for naught. 25-18, Sixers win that first quarter. And as I've continued to say, it's going to be a fight to 100 pretty much every game of this playoff series. Walter Miller, my guy, telling everybody to like the video. Appreciate it, Brody. Let's yes, get sir. the stream to 100 people rocking with us. Please make sure you continue to hit that thumbs up icon. Like the video. That's another good first quarter for the Sixers. Drink to that. I said once he got to 50 likes, I'm drinking some more, so a little more chug of this. My happy dad. Every 25 likes, I'm chugging. So when we get to 75, I'll chug again. 100. So this is for 50. Appreciate everyone hanging out. Eagles in racing saying F the refs. Nick Nurse has almost lost it a couple of times. And speaking about the refs, that's oh, for sure. Oh. Woo. Walter Miller spamming those 76s, baby. Nick's crowd chanting F Embiid late in the first quarter. What, because he owns them? He's already got 12 and 8 with 16 two assists. and 4 against him in his career. They should be chanting for uh, Brunson to play a little better because, once again, not good. Going back to our prize picks, Josh Hart is already up to five rebounds. More or less than 11. We said less. He's already up to five. Like Brunson in that first quarter, two of eight, five points. 
The, the Sixers all year have done a really good job on him, man. I agree, Greg. The rebounding's been a lot better. You can tell they're just more emphasis, more focus, more effort. I like what I saw from Buddy Heald. He's already played five minutes in this one. Even though he hasn't even taken a shot. I, I like the effort I've seen from him on the defensive side of the ball. Yep. yep. And you know what's funny? You, you know, we talk about them needing to get on the boards more. And Bede had eight rebounds all of last game. He already has eight rebounds. You can just tell there's more of an effort for the hustle there. Like it, and, and we talked about this after game one. Like Nick Nurse is going to turn on that tape. And he is going to point out all of the things that the Sixers missed as far as the rebounding gap and discrepancy. And there was a lack of hustle. There was bad rotations. You're just in the wrong place, wrong time, when you should be in a different place at the right time. And they even reported on the TNT pregame show that Kyle Lowry, Tyrese Maxey, and I think Joel Embiid stopped the meeting multiple times to point out areas in which the Sixers need to be better. And we've just seen more of a concerted effort to chase the ball coming off the glass or the rim. We'll have to see it. The team responding to what a coach wants them to do. And the team taking it upon themselves, having some pride, you know? And that's why, outside of Jay Wright, Nick Nurse was my number one Sixers coaching candidate last year. The receipts are there. We talked about him plenty on the show. He was my number one candidate because he's a tactician. Has won a title. As rookie head coach, by the way. Now let's see how the Sixers play in the second quarter. Not in bead minutes here. Oubre, Heald, Reed, Maxi, Harris. Oubre gives up his dribble. Goes to Harris. Fadeaway jumper from the elbow. Cashes in, deposits it for the deuce. 27-18. Solid start anytime Tobias Harris is doing anything positive for you. Miles McBride, another game one hero, gives it up to Brunson. Brunson matched up on Maxi. Crossover dribble. Spins in the lane. Good help defense there by Heald. And they're going to call a phantom call on Tyrese Maxi. I mean, come on. So game one. Knicks trail by nine after the first quarter. It was 33-12 to 12 Knicks in that second quarter. Bogdanovich will inbound to Hart. He's guarded by Heald. To Robinson. Back to Hart. Hart looking for somewhere to go. To Brunson. Shot clock at four. Defended by Oubre. Step back. Contested. And it's a good contest, which leads to a Brunson miss. Another Toby rebound. Harris will back down Hart. Back to the basket. Gives it up to Heald. Buddy Heald for three. No good. You desperately want to see him get going. Brunson far side. Cross court pass to Hart. To Bogdanovich. Open three. Can't hit. Maxi streaks in for the board. Maxi guarded by McBride. Good offense against good defense. Switches on against Brunson. Step back three. Left wing. No good. Harris, no effort on that long rebound. It was there for the taking. Brunson, transition three, thought about it. Wants to take Harris off the dribble. Late foul on Harris. Brunson starting to get superstar calls here. And I like to, I like to see that one again, too. I, I'm not so sure about that one, man. He definitely beat Harris off the dribble. So Harris was fighting to get back in front of Brunson for his defensive positioning. But, again, for all of the complaining that Knicks fans do with them bead flops, boy... Brunson and Hart flop a lot. Brunson hits the first free throw. More than 100 people watching. Thank you so much for being here with us here on 76ers Now. If you haven't subscribed, do so right now. And if you like what you're seeing and you want to send the bartenders a tip, you can send in a super chat. $10 gets you in the running to win a Tyrese Maxey jersey at the end of the series. Brunson 2-2 two two from the line. 27-20. Oubre going to bring it up. He's met immediately by Bogdanovich. Now he gives it up to Maxi. Maxi into the lane. Floater! Cookies! Maxi with a little bit of touch. 
Sixers up their lead back to nine. Bogdanovich comes off the screen to Hart to McBride. McBride with Harris on him. Trying to shake and bake. Left-handed layup. Ooh, off the high glass and in. Good shot there by Miles McBride. Sixers lead back down to seven. Maxi guarded by McBride again. Oubre has it up top. Paul Reed late to join because he had to tie his shoe or something. And they're actually going to call Bogdanovich for a push. Tough shot by McBride, man. See, that's like getting in the lab and working on your game. That is a tough, opposite hand, high off the glass, touch and contested. He's developed into a good player. 21 points, 7 to 12 from the field, 5 of 7 from 3 in game one. Brunson going to take a seat next to his dad on the bench. His dad, a Temple legend under John Chaney. Brunson, Villanova legend. Maxi sidestep three from the left wing. It's good! Tyrese Maxi buries another three. He's four of six from distance. Sixers up by ten. DiVincenzo back in the game. Finds McBride. McBride back to DiVincenzo. Good defense from Heald, but they're going to call a foul before the shot. Robinson, handoff to Bogdanovich, trail by Batum. Harris switches on him. Hart going to take another three, and again, he connects. How long can this keep up? Josh Hart was a 30% three-point shooter in the regular season. Harris tries to drive on Hart to the corner. Heel, three-pointer, off the mark. He's lost his confidence. Knicks want to run and push it. They tried to. Now they back it back out. McBride takes the feed from DiVincenzo. Good D by Buddy Heald, at least. Fights through the screen. Jumper got it to go. 32-27. A Sixers 10-point lead has evaporated to five. Maxi into the lane. Euro over Robinson. Gets the roll. How about this start from Maxi? DJ Cuervo, $10 Super Chat. We'll give you a shout out here in a second and read that. Bogdanovich corner three. Back iron off the mark. Maxi with another rebound. Sixers up by seven. Under eight to go in the second. Maxi wants to cook again from way out town. No good. Harris tips it to heel. High off the glass and in. Effort play from Toby to Buddy. Sixers up by nine. Hart will drive off his knee out of bounds. Sixers basketball. So not only are the Sixers responding to some of these Knicks pushes, they're surviving the non-Joel Embiid minutes here. Maxi's slow walk dribble. Right on that Knicks logo. Directing traffic in the offense. Sixers spread it out. Maxi gets the screen from Batum. Guarded by Hart. Out to Heald. Heald to Maxi. Maxi out to Harris. Wide open three. No good again. Paul Reed tries to fight for the rebound, but Mitchell Robinson has the girth edge. Hart down to Ananobi. Two handed slam. 36-29, good pass by Hart to get two Sixers defenders in the air. Then he dropped it off for Ananobi. And now Nick Nurse going to call another timeout. So that's the second timeout Nurse has called when he kind of senses the crowd starting to get into it a little bit. Those are the nuances of a head coach you have to understand. DJ Cuervo, $10 Super Chat. Thank you, my brother. He says, thanks, guys, for the watch party. 
Great to see you here, Chase. I also follow you for the Niners. Thank you so much. Appreciate the excellent coverage of our Sixers. All right, so a Niners and Sixers fan, DJ Cuervo, you are in the running for a Tyrese Maxi jersey, my man. Here's our Super Chat menu. All Super Chats get a shout-out. $10 gets you a raffle ticket to win a Maxi jersey at the end of the series. $20, you get five raffle tickets. And if you send in a 50 I'll shotgun this right here. Here's that Tyrese Maxi jersey that we're going to give away here. You can get it. You send in a super chat. We appreciate your support, and we want to show you some love back. Speaking of Maxi. Okay. Finalist for most improved player. I think most of us ex expected this. Most of us expected this, but officially announced by the NBA as a finalist. I expect him to win the award. I mean, Nick Nurse was talking about it. Just besides his statistical numbers improvement, this is the first year he's really played true point guard, and he's been terrific. So I feel like you gotta you gotta take that into account. Nick Nurse said you gotta take that into account. And Max, he's showing out tonight. Showing out tonight. Let's do this for the next minute. If anybody sends in a five dollar super chat, we're gonna give you a raffle ticket for the Tyrese Maxi jersey. Love it. That's for the next minute here. If a $5 Super Chat comes in, you send in two fives, that'll be two raffle tickets. Get in on the jersey, baby. DJ Cuervo, you send in another 10, that's more raffle tickets. $10 will get you two now over the next minute. As you can see behind Chip, by the way, a beautiful sunset here. Right by the Chat Sports Studios oh, in Dallas, is. Texas. Look it's at that. real nice. It's real nice. So scenic. Look at, About look at 70 degrees today. It's beautiful, baby. What a night for basketball, baby. 120 people watching live. If you haven't hit that thumbs up icon to like the video yet, please do so right now. More likes that we get, the more people who find the stream, the more fun that we will have here on the program. Hey, speaking of fun, when we get to 75 likes, we're 10 away. I'm finishing my happy dad. We're 10 likes away. I'm finishing my happy dad. DJ Cuervo, by the way. Cheers to you, brother. Aaron Fitzgerald saying what we're all thinking. Knicks getting out of the playoffs in the first round will be the most satisfying thing. Starts tonight. Got to win this basketball. Long Nick Nurse time out here from MSG. Imagine if Beat will come back in the game here. Some good Paul Reed minutes, though. Solid. 6.56 left in the second. And Bede played all of the first. And Bede's still not in the game. Lowry, Batum, Maxi, Harris. Oh, no, and Bede is in. Lowry tries to hit him on the wraparound pass. Defended well by the Knicks. Steven Chenzo, transition three. Already has a couple. He missed. Fight for it. Harris tied up with Hartenstein. And Embiid likes to see that Hartenstein is on the floor. Better matchup for him as compared to Mitchell Robinson. Toby wins the tip. Despite the size disadvantage, Maxi has it. Slow walks it up the court. Looking for the screen from Embiid. He gets it. Two-man game. Mid-range jumper for Embiid. Nothing but nylon. Good dish from Maxi on the pick and pop for Joel. 38-29 Sixers. And an Obi in the lane. Free throw shot pretty much, and he drains it. Sixers lead back down to seven, 38-31. Halfway gone in this second. Maxi guarded by McBride. That's been a consistent matchup here. Thought about a three, gives it up to Embiid. Embiid from 18 feet. Loses it, then pokes it to Harris. Harris pumps, shot clock at five. Out to Batum for three. The Frenchman got it! 
He's doing it for Philadelphia and France. First shot is a make for Batum, the play-in tournament game hero. 41-31. Hartenstein gave up his dribble. Looking for DiVincenzo. Drives on Embiid. Embiid blocks it, but they call a foul on Embiid. Now he just got teed up. Embiid's got to be careful. He doesn't get a second tech. I just don't know why that's a foul. And Nick Nurse said that. Why is that a foul? Fuck Embiid chance are raining down at MSG. Embiid's got to be careful now. Can't get another tech this game in what's been a hotly... DiVincenzo's smiling, man. He's like, yeah, I got away with one. Come on, man. 41-32. Now DiVincenzo goes to the line for two. Hits the first. The second of this three free throw bonanza. At the refs. Boo! Yeah, type boo in the chat, man. DiVincenzo, three points right there. Sixers up by seven. Lowry going to bring it up. DiVincenzo has nine points on two of three shooting, two by way of the three-point shot. Lowry out to Embiid. Embiid to Maxi. Maxi back to Embiid. Embiid, nowhere to go. Two Batum, end of the shot clock. Embiid gets it back. Shot clock violation. Crowd goes nuts. Embiid tried to do a little bit too much there. Ananobi up top. Can't find even Chenzo to Hartenstein. Hartenstein looks for the backdoor cut. Tries to go around Embiid. He can't. Good defense there from last year's MVP. Lowry out to Maxi. Maxi has it up top. Spins off his man. Into the corner, Harris, three, good! Tobias Harris, a couple of big buckets early in this game. He's finally given the Sixers something. Philadelphia goes up by 10. Tom Thibodeau forced to call a timeout. F the Knicks. F the Knicks in the comments, man. F the Knicks. Chen at FMB. He owns you. He owns you. Let's go. <laughs> Much better second quarter tonight. Yeah. Much better second quarter tonight. Wow, this is great, man. I just tweeted this out. You can give me a follow on X, at Chase underscore senior, that the intensity and atmosphere at Madison Square Garden is what playoff basketball is all about. I know that they're chanting F Embiid, but look, the NBA and basketball is better when the Knicks are a competitive team, when they're good. Just hearing the wave of emotions from Knicks fans is great. And again, another reason why I was so excited for this playoff series, and when it comes back to Philadelphia, it's going to be electric there too. You know what's also electric? Playing daily fantasy sports with prize picks. Get a $100 deposit match, prizepicks.com slash CLNS. They make daily fantasy sports easy. Here are the selections that we like for tonight. Nikola Jokic special. More than a half point, uh, yeah, he's going to get that. Tyrese Maxey, more 
than 27 and a half points. Tyrese Maxey has been sensational, baby, in this first half. Kyle Lowry, more than 12 points and assists. Right now, Kyle Lowry, no points. Two assists, though, but he's still been a plus nine. Tyrese Maxey has 16 points, and then Josh Hart more than 11 rebounds after he had a double-double last game. He does have five rebounds right now. Prizepicks.com slash CLNS, $100 deposit match. Joe Casey, I can't watch, though. I think it's a jinx. Joe, if you think watching leads to the Sixers losing, you might have to sit this one out, my man. I'm superstitious as well. But that's why you tune into the show. That's why you tune into the show. We are 31 likes away from 100. DJ Cuervo! Oh! We'll try again. Go Sixers. Thank you again for all your hard work. My man, we appreciate it. Another cheers for DJ Cuervo. And another Tyrese Maxey jersey ticket for the legend, DJ Cuervo. Shout out to DJ Cuervo, baby. DJ Cuervo. We're Send just, it in, Jerome. We're just five likes away from 75, and I'm cracking my next drink. I'm cracking and chugging my next drink when we get five more likes. Don't jinx the Sixers, baby. So it's almost like for a basketball game, it's kind of how you got to look at it. You take these games in sections, right? And you have that good first quarter, but sometimes the closing minutes of a quarter are really pertinent. This last four, going to be huge going into halftime here. Brunson comes off the screen. He's back in the game to Ananobi. Beats Lowry off the dribble. Out to DiVincenzo. Whips it around to Hart. Open three on the rotation. Hits it again. It's unbelievable. He has the hot hand. 44-37. Lowry pitches it back to Embiid. Great pass on the backdoor cut to Maxi, And the reverse lay gets it to drop. A little kiss off the window. Brunson wants to take Embiid. Layup. Good. Tough take there for the MVP candidate. 46-39. Lowry to Embiid again. Dribble handoff to Maxi. Maxi to Lowry. Lowry into the trenches to Embiid. Jumper, got it! Right in the eye hole of Hartenstein. Sixers go back up by 10. Sixers double Jalen Brunson. Lowry on him. Mid-range, off the glass and in. Brunson's so good, and we talked about this game one, of that James Harden type of, I feel somebody on my hip, I'm going to go up with the basketball. I'm going to draw the foul. He does that there on Lowry, who had his hands by his waist, by the way. But he takes that slight little Lowry hip on the hand and uses that to his advantage to flop, of course, but hit the bucket. So he gets three points right there. Old school three-pointer. Brunson up to 12, 4 of 11 shooting. And we have a seven-point game once again, 48-41. Maxi to Embiid into the lane. Finger roll. He gets fouled. Embiid going to go to the line for two. And B, it all things considered, has played very, very well on both ends in this game. Can he maintain for four quarters? Missed the first free throw. That's his third miss from the line. Uncanny for him. Uncharacteristic, I should say. Fuck Embiid chants continue to ring out at the Garden. Manhattan, Madison Square Garden, the Mecca. He's getting some middle fingers, and he misses both.
And B does have 16 points, but he's two of six from the line. Hart, another open three, decides to drive it out to Ananobi, a three for him. Awful miss. Batum will now push. Gives it up to Maxi. Maxi guarded by DiVincenzo. That's a switch there. And then the ball stolen away as he tried to wrap around pass to Embiid. Hart, ball ripped away by Kyle Lowry, who goes into the stands. It's going to be Knicks basketball, but my goodness, the body of Lowry flying into like the second row. Great play on the pursuit by Lowry. I think you need to resign him next year. Brunson getting crafty on Embiid, high off the glass, no good. Good defense there from Embiid. Lowry has it, thinking about a three, out to Embiid. He's going to take the three, just short. Embiid has a couple of triples tonight, 48-41. About two minutes left in this first half. Hartenstein to Brunson. Guarded by Batum. They send two his way. Brunson into the lane. No good. Here come the Sixers. Two on two. Maxi against Hart. Out to Harris. He hit one from here earlier. Hits it again. Tobias Harris. The response game. 51-41 Sixers. 17 assists for Philadelphia to four turnovers, much better than game one. Hart, another three, and again he connects. He's unstoppable from deep. Back to a seven-point game. Hart has 15. Lowry to Batum. To Maxi. Shot clock at 10. Maxi to Embiid. Into the lane. Layup. Off the mark. No foul. Knicks have numbers, three on two, Brunson, layup, no good. Outlet pass to Embiid, and they call a late foul. Batum on the foul? What, did he push Josh Hart in the back on the rebound? Hart, 15 points, 3 of 4 from 3. Connects on the first free throw. Ubre going to come in for Batum. Silent game offensively for Ubre once again, but defensively making his impact be known. Critical minute here. Hart short on the second free throw. Sixers up by six. Under a minute and ticking. Embiid has it up top. Guarded by Robinson. Gives it up to Oubre. Oubre comes off the screen. They're going to get DiVincenzo on the off-ball foul. Little bit too ticky-tack for my liking. On both ends, honestly. Is DiVincenzo trying to get around the Embiid screen. Embiid now has it up top to Oubre. Oubre uses that Embiid screen, gets some space, jumper on the baseline, rattles out. Got to get a stop here, 51-45. Hart, pull up three, got it again. Three-point game. Been the MVP for the Knicks, 19 points, 12 in this quarter. Game clock 18, shot clock 12. Maxi against Brunson. Dribbles behind his back. Lost the basketball, got fouled. It's going to go to the line. Ooh. 
Lowry tried to foul Hart there, too. Maxie sends the first free throw in. Sixers back up by four. Going to be 12 seconds left once the Knicks get the basketball back. Maxie's second free throw, pure. Brunson guarded by Oubre. Picks him up. Three quarters length. Brunson crosses half court. Five seconds remaining. Into the lane. Takes the foul again on Oubre. He gets that defender on his hip and he rises up and then flops and takes that shot every time. Yeah, 4 of 14 from the floor. And it's that it's it's the James Harden era of basketball where you feel that defender on your hip, you kind of look back at the peripheral, you see that player, you feel him here, then you go up for the shot. And you slow up into the defensive player so that you absorb the contact there. Going to be 3.1 seconds left for the Sixers here. Nick Nurse does have a few timeouts left if he wants to use one to draw up a play. 53-49 after the first Brunson make. And he's trying to make it a three-point game here. Misses the second. DiVincenzo gets it back. Put back. No good. And then Hart with another put back. That also no good. So the Sixers are going to escape what could have been a momentum swinger at the end of that first half, which kind of already was with how the game did play out there in the first final few minutes there, I should say, of that second quarter. But all things considered, look, Philadelphia was really good in that first quarter, very, very solid in that second quarter. You'll take a four-point halftime lead against the Knicks any day. Great the first half for the Sixers so far, A, B, C, D, or F. I don't feel great about it. I feel like the officials were making some calls in momentous spots to kind of give some momentum to MSG, the crowd, and the Knicks to make it closer, to take the Sixers out of their flow. Embiid and Maxi in that first half combined for 36 points, 13 rebounds, and 8 assists. New poll question up in the chat. Go vote. We're two likes away from 75. I'm taking a big five-second chug of my beer when we get to 75 likes. We're two away, baby. And we're 27 away from 100 likes. Continue to support the show. Hit that thumbs-up icon, like the video. Grade that Sixers first half. A, B, C, D, or F. Just notice Ubre needs to step up. He's been used as far as his effort so much on the defensive end. But offensively, can you get something out of Kelly Oubre? He has no points right now. And he's had a couple of point blank misses. I mean, and th this is one kind of actually. Kind of the goal. story of the game for the Sixers last time, too. It's like in game one, it was Embiid, it was Maxi, and it was Lowry who had a lot of points, and then nobody else really contributed much. This game, it's Maxi with 20, Embiid with 16, Tobias with 10. And then after that, Batum has three, Buddy Yield has two, Kelly Oubre has two. Nobody else. Yeah, Lowry has, has none. Lowry, Lowry has, has zero. None. Paul Reed's only played five minutes. You got to get one other person. But then again, you know, you'll, you'll look at the Knicks. It's been all Josh Hart with 19. Brunson has 13 points on 14 shots. DiVincenzo has nine. They're not getting any bench production. Bog Bogdanovich has played eight minutes, no points. McBride, four points in 11 minutes. It's just Josh Hart, four of five from three. This year, he shot 
from three on three attempts a game. 31% from three on three attempts a game. It's just, man. First game, he goes four of eight from three. Now he's four of five, so he's what? Eight of 13 from three? He's eight and of he's 13 in the first two games. Eight of 13 so far in the first game and a half. Just ridiculous. And I get that Sixers game plan, like, by the numbers, if there's a guy you're going to leave open, it's going to be him. You're going to dare him to score. You're going to dare him to shoot. But he's doing it. I, I do kind of agree with, with J-Mill here. I hate my, my, my biggest gripe with refs, much more than just what, if they're making a bad call, is when they're inconsistent. I, I feel like some of the call, like they're letting some contact go. Other times they're calling real ticky-tack fouls. I would like it to be one way or another. Because even, like, not even just going the Sixers way, like that, that foul against DiVincenzo getting over the Embiid screen, I don't think should have been a foul. You know, the Brunton stuff is tough because he's so crafty and he's so shifty and tricky with his moves. You know, as a referee in real time, it's tough. Just notice they have to run hard off the three-point line. At this point, it's like... Maybe I, I would start before you start running him off. I would just start playing him honest, playing him tight, make him shoot contested ones before you start completely running him off. I like this from DJ giving the Sixers a B but an A so far for our chat sports coverage. DJ! DJ, what up? Just so y'all know, now that we're in halftime here, our pregame super chat menu from earlier now will become our. Halftime half Super Chat menu. So we will have some special deals for y'all at halftime, some discounts. Can Abid's health and his stamina hold up in the fourth quarter? You've got the emotion of him going against the crowd. You've already got him banged up with the left knee. New York conserved the minutes for Mitchell Robinson, who held Embiid to 0 of 5 in the fourth quarter of game one. You know that they're going to run him out a lot. Embiid Maxey with 36, by the way. Brunson Hart with 32. And in the series, in the lead up to it, I said, you take away Brunson, force others to beat you. The Knicks don't really have that co-star. Josh Hart is not a co-star, but he's playing like a co-star. Yeah. He's carrying the Knicks. And I get it, you want to say he's not going to keep doing it, but you know what? He's been doing it! We just surpassed 75 likes. Cracking my next beverage for y'all. Appreciate that. When we get to 100, I'll chug a little more, but here's a little chug for y'all. Getting us to 75 likes. Keep hitting that like button, man. Cheers. Twenty-three likes away from a buck. We're also $55 Ooh. away from $100 in Super Chats. Buddy Bear, where are you? Here's our halftime Super Chat menu. $5, you get a ticket. If you donate to the show, we want to say thank you and put you in the running for a Tyrese Maxi jersey. $10, we'll give you five tickets for that Maxi jersey. $20, you make a shrink. And let me say this, too. For as tough of a city as New York claims to be, they acted like Joel Embiid took out a shotgun and shot Josh Hart. The play on Dante DiVincenzo, they acted as though he was one of the illegal migrants in New York who stole an old woman's purse in broad daylight in Manhattan. And this Knicks team, bunch of fake tough guys flopping all over the place. B for the Sixers so far from DJ Cuervo. A for our chat sports coverage. Salute.
Jamel, don't forget, no call on him B, but then the refs turn around and call a foul on the rebound. Exactly. I just want, all I ask for when it comes to officiating is consistency. Call it both ways and be consistent. That's all I ask for. And I'm not the referee conspiracy theorist who's going to blame a team's bad, poor play on officiating often, right? Sometimes it is a big deal. Sometimes it is a story. But all I ask for is consistency. There's been a couple of times, game one, game two, where Embiid doesn't get a call. And then all Brunson does, he feels a guy on his hip, ah, goes up with the left. This is why I've never been a fan of James Harden. He's changed the way that the game is officiated, where it has become such a ticky-tack league, where when Kyle Lowry just has a hand slightly on Brunson's hip, then when Brunson goes up for the shot, he takes it away. Brunson flops. Foul. And Brunson's getting the superstar calls now. There's no doubt about that. Going to be a pressure-packed second half here, man. It's going to be intense. It's going to be a roller coaster. You're going to need Embiid to give you some solid fourth quarter minutes. The crowd is going to be on him. He's going to try to force it and shove it to New York. You already know it. He's got to emotionally stay in check. He's already got one tech. One more and he's gone. And Knicks fans are going to try to bait him into that. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Year-round Sixers coverage that's informative, insightful, entertaining, consistent, that involves you, the fan. For all the baseball fans out there, Philadelphia Phillies winning again. Look at that. Now it's time for the Sixers, baby. Come on. And for the Phillies, again, a shutout. And again, they scored seven or more runs. Cody Clemens filling in for Bryce Harper on paternity leave at a three-run jack. Cody Clemens? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I like to hear. Ranger Suarez. Hey, he's been tremendous. ERA at 136, seven innings, no runs. He has been so good. The Cavaliers are beaten up on the Magic. Yeah, I think that series might be might be a sweep. Maybe five games. If there's ever been a fraudulent five seed, it's the Orlando Magic. Just so young, man. Paolo's so good, but he struggled. Is that the 4-5 or is Bucks? That is the 4-5, yeah, because if because the Sixers... Bucks pacers is 3-6, Yeah, because right? the Sixers, if they win the series, would play the 3-6, the which is Bucks pacers Yeah. Slow down Josh Hart and we win the game. Surely this man keep going like this from three. That's coming from Om Giles. And Chip read it out a little bit earlier, and I tweeted it out. Josh Hart going nuclear from three-point range. He's 8 of 13 in the series. He was 31% three-point shooter during the regular season. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable, but you know what? When you got a good team, good culture, you got guys that step up. Who's going to step up for the Sixers? Who's going to be the guy for the Sixers that's going to outperform their regular season capabilities? You know, you got to have someone on the squad that shows you something a little bit more than maybe what you were expecting. An X factor. Right now, I mean, Tobias has 10, but outside of that, it's been all in beat and maxi, so. You'd think when you're holding Jalen Brunson again to these, these shooting splits that you've been holding him to, 
Shot just 30% last game, shooting just 414 this game. It's 28%, like, I think it'd be up by more than four. So after outscoring the Knicks 25 to 18, the first Sixers get outscored 31-28, so not quite as bad as game one. Not nearly as bad as game one. But now you're going to come out in this third quarter and you, and you got to hold your own because the Knicks at home are going to, the crowd's going to be electric. They're going to come out fighting. You got to maintain this lead. Got to maintain this lead. The good news is you're actually out rebounding the Knicks right now. Yeah. So you fix that issue, but... Rebounding has been better. They haven't given up as many transition opportunities. But the one constant, Josh Hart, just going nuts. And you've only turned the ball over three times. It's, just, it's been a very closely contested good game. That's really what it's been so far. Reed saying, what a sunset behind Chip right now. It actually is really it nice. It is. It's very nice. It's a beautiful sunset. It's that exact time. A little hard to see when this, if, you, if the screen hey, wasn't here. Let's see here. Let's give the people a view, huh? I don't even know if we can do this. There we go. Look at that. Can y'all see it? I wonder if we turn the light off, if they could see it better. There you it's, go. It's looking nice, though. It's looking nice. Honestly, you can kind of see the orange a little bit better when the screen's up. Nice little view. How long is Harper out for from Clive Johnson? He's on paternity leave, so I would imagine a couple games at most. Hundred twenty nine people watching, twenty one likes away from a buck. Let's get to one hundred likes. We appreciate everybody for supporting the show. And if you're wondering how can I support the show, like the video, comment, subscribe, share the video. Give me a retweet on X, at Chase underscore senior. A lot of different ways. Running out of time here to take advantage of our discounted halftime super chat menu. Again, these prices are half off only during halftime, though. You can get a raffle ticket for a maxi jersey. Normally maxi jersey, about 80 bucks, I believe. You can get a, a chance to win for just five bucks. If you send in 10 bucks, you get five... Five raffle tickets. And you can make us drink. Have a good time. Someone sends in a 20. I'm chugging this entire thing. Let go. But half time's almost over. Sean Brock, I want to see Ricky Council in the second half. If you're trying to match the Knicks' physicality, you can do it with Ricky Council. The thing is, Tobias Harris, admittedly, has played a lot better. Yeah, if you put in rookie council, I mean, who are you? You're not going to take Batum out of the rotation. Obviously not Paul Reed, he'll spell and be. I mean, do you re replace Buddy Heald? Maybe. But I kind of like the energy Buddy Heald's giving you, even though, I mean, you said it earlier, like, it just seems like he's not confident at all in his shot right at now. At all, man. At all. All right, 53-49, Sixers basketball to start this second half. And in this second half, coming out of recess, they're going to matriculate down the floor right to left offensively. Knicks left to right. Embiid has it at the elbow. Going to take a jumper, rattles in and home. Joel Embiid, another deuce. Sixers up by six. Same starting five for Philly. Embiid, Maxi, Oubre, Lowry, Harris. Two-man game. Brunson, Hartenstein. Hartenstein on the roll, man. Dunks it down. Back to a four-point game. Good dish from Brunson. Lowry has it up top. Comes off the Embiid screen. Goes back to Embiid. He's stripped by Hartenstein. Good defense. Embiid had some open space there to try to rise up for a jumper, but a good recovery there from Hartenstein. Brunson has it up top, guarded by Maxi. Into the corner to Ananobi, but the ball tipped away by Lowry. 
Sean Brock, good point. Buddy Heald has stunk. Yes, he has stunk. He's been a nothing burger the first two games so far. Ananobi from the corner. He will inbound to Brunson. Brunson out to hard again. Thought about a three. Stripped by Oubre. Ball stays with New York. Shot clock at 1.9. Got to force a miss here. You've done so well for 22 seconds of the shot clock. And Anobi again on the inbound. Out to Brunson. Shot clock violation. And a backcourt violation, too, at that. 55-51, a minute 10 gone in this third. Lowry guarded by Brunson, gives it up to Maxi, to Ubre, bounces it off his knee. Unbelievable. You could tell Ubre is playoff inexperienced, and Nick Nurse talked about that. It's crushing the Sixers. Sixers so good at not turning the ball over in that first half. It's a bad turnover right there. And an Obi thought about a three. Pulls up, long range two, buries it. Two-point game. Sixers for the last few minutes of this ball game in general just kind of out of whack offensively. Embiid from the elbow into the corner. Harris, open three, back iron off the mark. Was wide open. Not a bad close by Hart, but still open. Brunson pushes off Ubre. No foul. We're tied. 55 55. Maxi has it up top to the roll man in Embiid. Reverse layup off the mark. And they're going to call a foul on the shot. Embiid will now go to the line, looking to give the Sixers the lead back. Embiid, 2 of 6 from the line. Not really a foul there on Embiid. He has have 18.7 to 15 shooting. First free throw, he connects. 56-55, Sixers go back up by 1. Embiid's second free throw is pure. Sixers holding to that two-point lead. They've led by as many as 10. DiVincenzo pushed past to his right to Brunson. Into the corner to Ananobi. And that's going to be a walk? Yeah, walk on Brunson. The Sixers do continue to bother him. With a great defensive game plan against Jalen Brunson. Lowry back to Embiid. Dribble handoff to Maxi. Maxi doubled. Now guarded by Ananobi. Embiid spins off Hartenstein. Fade away! Oh my goodness, what a shot! Embiid now limping his way back to the defensive end. Hart. He will drive out to Hartenstein, hands it off to DiVincenzo, three-pointer, cash. DiVincenzo and Hart, the Villanova guys, just crushing the Sixers. 59-58 Philly. Maxi up top, into the corner, Lowry. Open three, good! Kyle Lowry's first field goal. That puts the Sixers up by four, 62-58. Brunson will drive, spins off Maxi into the lane, blocked by Ubre. DiVincenzo for three, no good. Long rebound, Lowry. Can you capitalize here? Lowry to Maxi. 
Axie doesn't take the shot. Into the lane. Left-handed layup. Off the mark. No good. Three on three. Hart will pull up from distance. It's short. And OG Ananobi goes flying. It'll be a foul on the Sixers, I believe, Tobias Harris. Side out of bounds here. Ananobi inbounds to Hart, to Hartenstein. Hartenstein to Hart. Thought about a three. And a foul called on Kyle Lowry now. Inbound goes to DiVincenzo. Back to Hart. Oubre trails him. Three-pointer, no good. Hartenstein rebound. Put back on and B gets it to drop. Laid it up on the left side. 62-60. Embiid to Maxi to Lowry to Embiid. Tries to spin off Hartenstein. He gets mobbed. No call. Hart in transition. Drops it off for Ananobi. He lost it. Goes up with it. Loose ball. Maxi has it. To Embiid up ahead. Embiid, Euro, off the glass and in, plus the foul! Finally, he gets a whistle. A great Euro in the paint. Off the left leg again. That's a good sign. Ananobi now grabbing his eye. You can tell Embiid's right eye is bothered a little bit. Really? That's insane, dude. Hart going to bring it up for New York. Sixers up 65-60. Hart guarded by Lowry. Villanova on Villanova here. Hart to Hartenstein. Hartenstein to Brunson. Right wing near side, guarded by Oubre. Shot clock at four. He'll drive. Download Hartenstein wide open for the dunk. Good pass by Brunson, especially with the shot clock dwindling there to find Hartenstein, who on the backside was open because Embiid came to help on Brunson. Embiid will bring it up for Philadelphia. He's done that a couple of times here. Gets to the line, tries to draw a foul. He can't. Out to Lowry. Lowry to Embiid. Embiid mobbed again. No foul again. Lowry fights for it. Gets it back. Now he gets fouled. Embiid is getting mobbed. By two players every time down low on the low block. And they're not calling the foul. Like, it's the Shaq syndrome where you have a player who's so physically intimidating and large that they just don't get foul calls. LeBron, same thing. Again, I never complain about officiating compared to some people at this office, but, like, Embiid is getting swarmed and swatted. Lowry going to the line, I guess, makeup call. Clive Johnson, I was just about to say, Embiid's eye is all over the place. And then he added, great hustle play by Lowry. It really was. Go Birds, I don't want to hear shit, Marshall. Stage be killing with the strong emoji. You know what's strong? The prize picks app. $100 deposit match. If you go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS, use the code CLNS. You pick two or more players, you choose more or less on their projected stat lines. And I kind of like what we have cooking here, if Kyle Lowry can get going. Nikola Jokic, more than a half point. Tyrese Maxey, more than 27 and a half. Kyle Lowry, more than 12 points and dimes. 
and then Josh Hart less than 11 rebounds. Win big money, but draw your winnings within the Prize Picks app, prizepickscom CLNS. Midway through the third quarter right now. I want everyone to type in the comments right now what the one thing the Sixers need to do to win this game. What is it? Do they need a maxi takeover right now? This is incredible. Marshall Green just said every whistle goes Philly's way. That's incredible. <laughs> That's incredible. That's There's just no way you could possibly you could possibly incredible. say that. God, that's funny. The Knicks have shot 12 free throws. The Sixers have shot 11. What is he talking about? No, I don't think the refs have been good. But I don't think they've been good either way. I don't think they've been one-sided. Yeah, I, I disagree with that. But that's a New York lens. <laughs> that, that's a Knicks fan. If the 76ers do what, they're going to win. What do they need? People said earlier, just stop Josh Hart. Yeah, just stop Josh Hart. Easier said than done, apparently. Now, I don't think he's scored since... Who? Hart. He has not scored since that pull-up three. Yeah. At the end of the half. He's Brunson's passed up on a couple of, like, semi-open looks. Why is a Knicks fan complaining about free throws when Brunson is shooting 5 of 17? Why don't you worry about that? I think they just challenged it and said it's successful. But who challenged it? We have a jump ball. So Tom Thibodeau challenged the shot foul. And that was overturned when Hart's hand was on Lowry's hand. And Bede Hartenstein going to jump it up. And Bede tips it to DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo gets fouled by Lowry. Embiid won the tip. And then DiVincenzo chased down the ball. So DiVincenzo can pull the Knicks within one as the score is 65-62 Philadelphia right now. First free throw, doesn't touch rim. Second free throw, also good. One point game. 65-64. On the four for Philadelphia, Kyle Lowry, Nick Batum is in, Joel Embiid, Tobias Harris, Tyrese Maxey. Embiid going to take a corner three, just off the mark, a little bit too long. Brunson brings it up, dribbles behind his back, out to Ananobi, three-pointer, no good. Embiid tips the loose ball to Kyle Lowry, outlet pass to Maxey. Maxi slows it down. He's been a little bit silent of late. Maxi into the paint to Embiid. Off the glass and in. He caught that ball right at his ankles. Good bend there to use an NFL scouting combine term. Embiid, 11 points in this third, 27 points total. Sixers back up by three. Brunson has it up top. Guarded by Embiid. Into the trenches. Off the mark. Hartenstein's put back a tap. No good. Sixers have a three on two if they want it. Lowry slows it up. Maxi cross court to Harris. Harris spins off Brunson. Pull up jumper. No good. Had a good offensive move to spring free of Brunson. Can't capitalize though. DiVincenzo in the lane. Left hand on Embiid. Good. Tough layup there for DiVincenzo. One point game again. 
DiVincenzo, 16 points. Lowry guarded by Brunson. Goes to Batum. He's guarded by DiVincenzo. Top of the key. Batum has the ball poked away by DiVincenzo. To Harris. Shot clock at five. Embiid to Lowry. Open three. No good. Open look there for Lowry. Can't connect. Outside of Embiid, the Sixers are cold. Brunson, fadeaway jumper, well off the mark. Harris going to be called for the charge. He has no ability to stop and go, accelerate, decelerate. He is just one speed all the time. And he should have gone into the corner because he drew two right there where Lowry was wide open. Harris tried to push it. He has no feel for the game at all. He is the worst $36 million per year player that I have ever seen. He's the worst high investment player in all of sports that I've ever seen. Sixers clinging to a one-point lead, approaching four to go in this third, and B checks out. DiVincenzo has it up top to Brunson, guarded by Heald, who just subbed in. Into the lane, Paul Reed. Good defense, better offense on Brunson. Knicks take their first lead of the game. Nick Nurse, another timeout. Don't like how this game is trending. I didn't like how it was trending going into halftime. How does everybody feel? 150 people watching, 13 likes away from 100. You see our sub count here. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, year-round Sixers coverage. We aim to be as informative, entertaining, insightful, and interactive as possible. Jeffrey, how's Embiid been looking? Incredible, 11 points in the third. He's got, I think, 27 up to this point. I need to see Maxi get it going. Yeah, Maxi needs to take over. I don't think he's scored since halftime. He has not. So grade the Sixers now. We started off a lot of A's during that first quarter, went down to some B's. Now they're down one with four minutes left to go. How many shots are you in uh, from Claw, Hee Hee Num? Just a couple of uh, beer cheers for everybody. $50 Super Chat all shotgun, though, if that's what you're asking. Greg giving the Sixers a C now. Man, it just... Let's be happy the Phillies won. Man, it's a regular season game. This is the playoffs we're talking about, man. Love the Toby run. It's still mind-boggling how they chose him over Jimmy, and they chose Ben, really. Claw is giving an A. An A? I don't see how you can give him an A. Yeah, I'd say the Knicks have had momentum the last quarter and a half, which is a little bit concerning here. Maxi was brilliant in that first half, there's no doubt. He needs to take over in this third. Like, somebody outside of Embiid needs to do something. Embiid has 11 third quarter points of Philadelphia's 14. And there's four minutes to go in this third. So Sixers won the first quarter 25 to 18. Knicks won the second, 31 to 28, and they're winning the third, 19 to 14. And Nurse just sat in bead. So now you're without in bead, maybe, for this little stretch, unless he comes back in. But he needs to rest for that fourth. Because Embiid has played 27 minutes so far.
Come on, baby. Let's go! All right, here we go. Embiid's still out. Maxi has it. Up top. Into the lane. Tries to get Ananobi in the air. Out to Harris. Shot clock at 10. Harris on an island. Guarded by Hart. Going to try to back him down. Jumper, no good. Nick's outlet. Hart. Into the lane. Fouled by Batum. It's John Starks. They're working on Embiid's left knee. A little maintenance there, I think. Just giving him a massage. Heart to the line. Hits the first. Embiid, 27 points, 10 of 22 shooting in 27 minutes. Hart has 20 and 12, now 21 and 12. Sixers now down by three. Knicks had not had a lead up until they took a 68-67 victory. Maxi to Harris to Batum for three. Good! Sixers desperately needed that. And Batum coming through again. We're even at 70. He's got six and five on two of four from the floor. Brunson off the screen from the elbow. Well off. Paul Reed climbs the ladder for the rebound. Hands it off to Maxi. Maxi comes off the screen from Reed. Tries to beat Brunson. Floater, no good. Reed tip in. Effort play from B-Ball Paul on the follow. 76ers regain the lead. 72-70. Two and a half left in this third. Can you close it out strong to go to the final frame? Shot clock under 10. Brunson guarded by Reed. Harris comes over. Down low Hartenstein. Off the glass and good. A miracle that he made that. 72 even. Hartenstein has eight points all this quarter. Batum comes up, sets the screen for Maxi. Deep three, well off. Hart loses the ball. Reed comes over, tries to jar it away. He can't. Hart far side, up top to Brunson. Guarded by Harris, takes him off the dribble. Wrap around to Hartenstein. Push shot again, and again it's good. Ten points this quarter for Hartenstein now. 74-72 Knicks. 5 of 7 for Hartenstein. 5 of 7. Maxi into the corner to Harris. He pumps. He drives into the corner to Heald. Guarded immediately. He's going to try to drive on DiVincenzo. Got stripped. Then Batum batted out of bounds. Momentum is with New York. Crowd going nuts at Madison Square Garden. Big final 85 seconds of this third quarter. Yeah, the Sixers do need to calm down. They're only down by two. They can't fall into the trap of that momentum swing. Brunson, DiVincenzo, Robinson, Ananobi, Hart. On the floor for New York. Hart down low. Ananobi finishes. Paul Reed on the contest. But a great finish there for Ananobi, who Nick Nurse knows well from the Raptor days. 76-72. Maxi into the corner to Oubre. Going to try to take Hart into the lane. Can't finish. Ball tipped out of bounds by New York. Sixers basketball. Shot clock should reset the 14 at will. Buddy Heald will inbound over the top to Batum. He's guarded by Brunson. Bounce to Heald. Heald looking for somewhere to go. There's nowhere to go. Shot clock at five. They go to Maxi. Shot clock at three. Crosses up Brunson. Three-pointer. No good. Hard another rebound. 
Hart will push out to Ananobi for three. No good. Knicks rebound. Robinson chases it down. I thought Reed tipped it off of Robinson. They were scrapping. Sixers got lucky there that Ananobi missed. But the Knicks do have the ball here. And Embiid is going to come back in. Knee brace on. No, he's going to wait until after the free throw. They caught a foul on Paul Reed. Mitchell Robinson, 40% free throw shooter to the line. Misses the first. 76-72. Now Embiid comes in. Robinson at the line for the back end. Makes it. Knicks up by five, their biggest lead. Shot clock at 17, game clock 22. Five second difference. Maxie's doubled. Now he's guarded by McBride. Maxie looking for the screen from Embiid. He gets it. Maxie back to Embiid. He tries to draw the foul. He gets it. And he's going to go to the line. And Bede with two free throws can make it a three-point game with 10.4 seconds left. He missed four free throws in the first half. Uncharacteristic of him. He's been good here in this third quarter from the line. Barry's the first. And B now up to 28 points for the night. Fighting, clawing, battling. Twenty-eight points. Looking to make it twenty-nine. Second free throw, good off the front iron, off the glass and in. Brunson takes the inbounds from Hart. Shot clock unplugged. Game clock now at six. Brunson crosses half court. He's going to try to drive into the lane. Shot up. No good. And another foul. Foul on Ubre. Brunson hits the first. 1.1 seconds left in this third. Hits the second free throw. Batum to Embiid. Three-quarter court. Oh, off the front rim. Nearly hit it. And the Knicks take a five-point lead into the fourth. So you kind of take a look at how this game is trended here. In the... First game of this series, Sixers won the first and the third quarter. In this game, they won the first quarter and lost the second and the third. Does the trend continue and they win the fourth? They're going to have to do that by six because they're down by five. So scoring by quarter, 25-18 Philadelphia in the first, 31-28 New York in the second, and then 30-21 New York in the third.
I'll tell you what, man. There is something wrong with Embiid's left eye. I don't know what it is. They obviously haven't said anything about it, but it's just, it just it's not normal. <sighs> Down five. You got to find somebody else that's going to have an impact on this game, man. Somebody, man. Just another rough third quarter. And I mean, you're not going to win games when you'd have scored 21 30 in the third quarter. Tobias had 10 at halftime, still has 10. Maxi had 20 at halftime, still has 20. Now you're only down five. It's still very much within reach. You know, like Josh Hart hasn't really done much since the half. Brunson is 6 of 21. I don't think that Hart scored a field goal in that third quarter. No, he just hit a free throw. Went to the line. Or two. Uh, you're not giving up many bench points. But, man, the free throws are killing you right now, dude. I don't want to hear a Knicks fans saying a thing about free throws. The Knicks are 16 of 20 from the line. They've taken 20 free throws to the Sixers, 13. Yeah, the problem with the Sixers, they're just not getting anything really of significance outside of Embiid and Maxi, who didn't do anything in that third quarter. I mean, Buddy Heald has been a zero. Batum has hit two threes. Oubre has been a zero, zero on offense. Hmm. Six likes away from 100. Help us get there, please. The Sixers need it, man. I'll give you a little cheers. To the fourth we go. Get those fours in the chat, baby. To the fourth. It's fourth quarter time, baby. Get those fours in the chat. To the fourth. Come on, Sixers. Win a clutch game on the road. Sixers are 0-19 in franchise history when going down in a series. 0-2. Knicks have the ball to start this fourth. McBride to DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo, long three. No good. Ball tipped out by Mitchell Robinson. Sixers basketball. Oubre now going to bring it up for Philadelphia. He goes to Batum. So the Sixers go big here without Lowry. Maxi has it up top. Guarded by Deuce McBride to Oubre. He pumps to Embiid. Embiid, long two. Connects. Joel Embiid continues to have it going on. Trying to will his team to a victory. About to step inside that three-point arc. And we have a three-point game. Ananobi at the elbow to McBride for three in the corner. No good. Maxi with the long rebound. It's Maxi and beat Oubre, Harris, and Batum for Philadelphia. Maxi, floater, got it! Tyrese Maxi with the runner. And Tom Thibodeau is going to call a quick timeout with his team's lead now trimmed to one. Sixers needed that to start the fourth. Lock in! Come on! Gotta lock in. Five likes away from 100. If you're enjoying this game, enjoying this stream, hit that thumbs up icon and like the video. Come on. Come on, baby. Squeaky Studio saying keep it up. Reed saying let's go. Zetterberg, Maxi, let's go. Let's get this chat rolling. We're two likes away from 100. I'm chugging this beer. LFG, once we get to 100 likes, I'm giving you a beer cheers. And hopefully it's a victory cheers. One away. One away. Let's go.
Ring the bell. Claw, there's nothing more I want to do than ring the bell. 100 likes. Cheers to everybody for hanging out. Thanks for being here. If you want the Sixers to beat the Knicks, beat the Knicks, beat the Knicks, hit Come that thumbs up icon, like the video. I like how Philadelphia started this fourth. We're a minute 15 in. You had him beat at the end of the shot clock, training that long two. He's not laboring yet this late in the game, having played all these minutes. And Bede so far has logged 28 of them. And then Maxi, assertive once again, crafty with how he maneuvers into the lane and hits that runner. If it's what they need to do, if no one else wants to do anything, you want to keep running that two-man game, just keep running that two-man game, man. And B kind of sets that, that fake screen. Maxi able to get downhill, and when Maxi gets downhill, if he can get that floater going, man. That's all you need, man. If, if, if no one else wants to do anything, that's fine, I guess. Oh, man. Another good game. Another good game in the series, man. Yeah, the NBA needed a series like this for their ratings. And I think it's going to be a highly rated series for sure. This is Embiid's first playoff game with 30 points and 10 rebounds since game four last year in the semis against Boston. So those last okay. three games that of that series. That was a great series, game four that he had, yeah. Yeah, in his first game. Yeah, Man. because he missed games one and two against Boston. He sat that game too because Harden won the game game one. So they were fine coming away with the split. A.H. <sighs> Dementor. Feeling the way that a lot of Sixers fans are feeling. My whole, whole body is shaking. This game has come so close. Evenly matched from Claw. It really comes down to late game execution. Late game execution. And you have a Knicks team... That as a contingent, as a group, didn't make it to the second round last year. Outside of that, it's not like they played a ton of massive games. And then you have a Philadelphia team that just has this dark cloud of big game shortcomings hovering over them. But can Nick Nurse be the difference? He was in the play-in tournament game against Miami. And this year, I will say, Philadelphia's done a good job of closing some of these games. Nick started the game as five-point favorites. It's now down to four and a half. One-point game right now. Bogdanovich in the game. First time we've seen him since, I believe, the first quarter, early second. Hart comes off the screen. It's going to pull up. Ball rattles out. Battle for the rebound goes to Robinson. Ball loose again. Hart fights for it. Brings it back out. Gives it up to McBride. Shot clock at five. He pumps. Gets Harris up. Another rebound to Mitchell Robinson. It gets batted out of bounds, and they're going to say Nick's ball again. And those second chance opportunities, Philadelphia's done good in that area so far in this game, but not on that possession. McBride will inbound over the top to Robinson. Hand off to McBride. He's going to drive out to Bogdanovich. Quick trigger three. Good. He drained it. A quick catch and shoot there. 82-78. Knicks go up by four now. Under 10 to go in this fourth. Ubre has it up top. DiVincenzo has been all over him tonight. Maxi now has it. Shot clock at 10. Comes off the screen from Embiid. Dribbles behind his back to Embiid. Thought about a three. Shot clock at five. Trying to shake Robinson. Lost the ball. Turnover. McBride in transition. Blew the layup. Hart tipping. And they're gonna say, they're gonna say no basket. Basket interference. You could tell Embiid on the chase down. Usually that's a play that he loves. He just had to give up on it. Knee is hurting him. And B going to take a three left wing off the mark. Batum fights for it. Nobody else is there. Hart will push. To DiVincenzo. To Bogdanovich. Open three. Got it. Nick's up by seven. Nick Nurse timeout. This coming with Jalen Brunson on the bench. 
Bogdanovich with two triples, both clutch, both quick triggers, one contested, one open, late contest from Harris. Two hundred eleven people watching live. If you haven't subscribed, my name's Chase Senior, producer Chip, both from the Philly area, lifelong Sixers fans and tortured Sixers fans. We give you Sixers coverage year round. Entertaining, informative, insightful content. Mr. Awesome Guy saying F Sixers gotta get it together. Down by seven. A timely timeout for Nick Nurse. And it's really the secondary players outside of Jalen Brunson who are just handing it to the Sixers so far in this series. I mean, game one, Josh Hart, first half, Josh Hart, and now critical junctures, Bogdanovich. Huge threes. Prize picks, huge daily fantasy sports app, the largest in North America. They make daily fantasy sports easy. You pick two or more players. You choose more or less on their projected stat lines, and you can win up to 25 times your money. Our selections here tonight, Nikola Jokic, more than a half point. That's the special that Prize Picks is running. Tyrese Maxey, more than 27 and a half points. Maxey right now is 22. Kyle Lowry, more than 12 points. Kyle Lowry, after a great game one, only has three so far. And then Josh Hart, less than 11 rebounds. Hart in this game, 14 rebounds. He continues to be a double-double machine. $100 deposit match, prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Oh, down seven with nine minutes to go. You got to come out of this timeout. You got to get some points. It's such a shame you haven't been able to get anything from Oubre. Tobias started off strong and hasn't scored in the second half. You haven't gotten much from Lowry this game. You really need that scoring punch off the bench, and you really hoped Buddy Heald would be that. And which hasn't been. They really need Ubre to get it going, man. Ubre is the one other guy in this team that can put it on the floor and get to the rim. And he's just been a nothing burger in the first two games of this series. Nothing. I get he's exerting a lot of energy on defense, and he's done a very good job on Jalen Brunson. But at some point, this team's going to need some offense, man. I mean, you, you saw in the game they went over Miami. You had Nick Batum with the 20 spot. You need one other person instead of him beating Maxi to step up. Let's see who can do it here. Sixers basketball here, down by seven. Largest deficit of the game for Philadelphia. Maxi goes to Lowry. Lowry back to Maxi. Looking for Embiid. Guarded by Robinson. Slices into the lane. Out to Ubre, shot clock at three, no good again. Oh, wow, he got a bounce. I don't know how that dropped. Hit the front iron, looked like though it was going to drop out, then it went in. 85 to 80, Ubre's second field goal of the game. Now you need a stop here. Eight and a half to go in this final quarter. McBride up top, beats Ubre off the dribble, stripped by Ubre. I thought that was off the knee of McBride, but the Knicks will inbound here. 4.3 seconds left. Embiid, good defense on the help there. Bogdanovich again from three. Thank God he missed. Maxi for the rebound, ripped away by McBride, and he puts it in for two. He ripped it right out of the grasp of Maxi, who caught that Bogdanovich miss, and he put it in off the window. 
87-80. You got to fight for those balls in the NBA playoffs. Maxi trying to create. Out to Lowry. Back out to Maxi. Into the lane. Scoop shot with the left. He's going to go to the line now for two shots. Maxi, 22 for the game. Just two in this second half. First free throw for Max, he's down. Programming reminder, game three, Philadelphia in uh, on Tuesday or on Thursday, excuse me. That's night one of the NFL draft. So I'll be live for the NFL draft, but we'll be back for game four for another watch party. So no watch party game three, night one of the draft. Game three shifts back to Philadelphia. We'll be back Sunday though. For game four, McBride into the lane, open shot, Ubre contest, fouled him and won. Again, it's the role players, secondary players, Bogdanovich, McBride, Ubre's playing out of control. And this is all with Jalen Brunson on the bench, ladies and gentlemen. Deuce McBride from West Virginia, a classic Bob Huggins player. Puts the Knicks up by eight. Largest lead for New York. Bench points this quarter, 11 for the Knicks, none for Philadelphia, to my point. Now Brunson checks in. Maxie to Lowry. To Embiid, to Lowry, Lowry three, nothing but nylon. Needed it badly. Lowry's played in a lot of big moments. 90 to 85, New York. Brunson trying to beat Maxi off the dribble. McBride has it in the corner. Floater over Embiid, he's blocked. Denied by the process. Shot clock at eight. I think McBride just played so well. Ubre got a piece of that too. Kind of a combo block. Brunson inbounds to Robinson. Back to Brunson. Ball tipped out. Now it'll be a side out of bounds. And Bede has 31 points, 10 rebounds, 32 minutes, 11 to 25 from the floor. Shot clock at seven for the Knicks. Brunson inbounds again to Ananobi. Ball ripped away by Lowry. Oh, and Ananobi gets it back. He'll drive. No good. Shot clock resets. Lowry comes up with the steal. To Maxi into the lane. Bucket no good. They're going to get Brunson on the defensive foul. That was a hectic sequence right there. Trying to say Ananobi's name fast is tough. Yeah, Knicks fans call Joel Embiid the foul merchant. Jalen Brunson is the flop merchant. Maxi to the line for two. Looking to make it a three-point game. First free throw. Deposits it. Mono saying, let's go, man. We can win this. I love the confidence. Just got to close the game. Late game execution going to be huge. Can Embiid hold up? Maxi, second free throw. Also good. 90 to 87. Knicks up by as many as 12. McBride has it up top. Maxi up to 26 with 10 dimes. The flu game for Mad Max. 
Shot clock under 10. Brunson will drive. Batum, good close. Better offense, though. Brunson buries it. Loves that mid-range area. 92-87. Maxi comes off the Batum screen. Guarded by Brunson. Stutter dribble. Step back. Gives Brunson a taste of his own medicine. Right in that mid-range area. 92-89. Approaching six to go. Almost to the halfway point. McBride comes off the screen far side. Nick's going left to right offensively. He's going to drive on Maxi to Hartenstein. Push shot again. 14, I believe, second half points for Hartenstein. They've all been similar to that. It's actually 12, but all after the break. Maxi goes behind his back. Lost it. The tube picks it up to Lowry. Lowry to Embiid. One on one against Hartenstein. Wants to back him down. Fadeaway jumper, can't hit. Embiid limps back to the defensive end. Nick's up by five. Five and a half to go. Brunson to McBride. Three-pointer open, rims out. Harris skies for the rebound. Up ahead to Maxi. Maxi guarded by Hart. Out to Embiid. Embiid back to Maxi. And Breed spreads out to spread the floor. Maxi cooking with Hartenstein. Got him to trip, but a bad miss on the three. And then Batum, for whatever reason, fouls Brunson. Third foul on Batum. Ninety four eighty nine. Knicks on top. Under five to go now. Brunson step back three from the right wing. Front iron. Lowry rebounds it. He'll push. He goes into the lane. Backs it back out. Lowry guarded by Ananobi. Comes off the screen from Embiid. Into the trenches. Can't shake Ananobi. Out to Harris. Shot clock at seven. Embiid. Wants the foul on Hartenstein. Shot clock at four. Throws it up. Oh! What a shot by Embiid! Right in the face of Hartenstein. And one! Unbelievable! Rip through move, and Embiid made it look easy just inside the three-point arc. A positive free throw here makes it a two-point game. 94-91 right now. Embiid with one bounce. Free throw up. Free throw good. 94-92. 420 left. I know you all enjoyed that the other day. Brunson slow walk dribble past half court. Guarded by Batum. Slow pace for the next. Slowest pace in the NBA. Brunson into the lane. Harris on his hip. Dips in. Shot from Embiid. Tips it to Maxi on the save. Good defense there from Embiid. Maxi trying to drive on McBride. Scoop off the window and in. We're tied at 94. The Sixers stars carrying the load in this fourth. We're level at 94. 349 left. Game two, Madison Square Garden. 76ers now watch party. Let's go. And beat is out there limping around the court and willing this team, man. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable how good he is. And beat with 34. And beat has 34, 10 rebounds, 4 assists. Maxi has 30 points, 10 assists, 7 rebounds. No one else has more than 10. These two stars are carrying this team right now. They have 64 of the team's 94 points. There is only one other sixer in double digits. There's one thing you can say about Embiid. No one can ever question 
how tough of a player he is, how badly he loves this game, how talented he is. This man is out here on one leg with one good eye, getting massages on his knee in the middle of the game, and is dropping 34 points in a playoff game against one of the best defenses in the league, in the playoffs, on the road, in the biggest stage of basketball in Madison Square Garden. Well said, Chip. Got to close it out, though. Got to close it out. 242 people watching live. Everybody who's in here, hold on to your seats. But help us out. Hit that thumbs up icon. Like the video. The more likes that we can get, more people that we attract to the stream. And let's live it out for the final nearly four minutes together. 12-4 Sixers run over the last 345 and counting. We're tied at 94. Brunson into the lane. Drops it off for Hartenstein. Push shot again is good. And that is 14 second half points for Isaiah Hartenstein. All coming on that push shot baby hook. And then Embiid fouled away from the ball by, I believe, Deuce McBride. And that's going to stop the clock at 320. And McBride just kind of bulldozed Embiid a little bit, running through that screen. Sixers inbound. Embiid with 34, Maxi with 30. Denver Nuggets-esque here with Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray. Maxi comes off the screen, behind the back to Embiid. Thought about it, three. He'll take it. Can't hit. Harris fights for the rebound. Valiant effort out to Lowry. He pumps to Batum for three. No good. Lowry, another rebound. Up for the putback, but there was a foul right before that. Sixers with two second chance opportunities there on the offensive glass. Those plays went New York's way in game one. Philadelphia's done a much better job of that here. And Lowry's arm ripped down by McBride. He's going to go to the line looking to tie this game up. Well-rounded game for Lowry. 6.6 6 boards, three assists. Misses the first free throw. Bad miss there for Lowry. DiVincenzo will check back in. He's been excellent on both ends. He'll spell Deuce McBride. 3-0-1 left. Lowry now looking to make it a one-point game. Second free throw. Rattles in. 96-95. Sixers, full court press here. Now they'll back off. Josh Hart will bring it up. Crosses half court to Brunson. Brunson guarded by Harris. Not a good matchup here for Philadelphia. Brunson wants it. Shot clock down to 10. 10-9 to 8. Right inside the three-point arc. He's trying to shake him. Gets to his shooter side. Pull up. No good. Fight for the rebound. Goes to the Sixers, but a foul's going to be called as DiVincenzo took some contact. Both teams scratching, clawing, fighting. For all of the loose balls here, good defense by Harris. The ball rattled out. Then Lowry jarred it loose from DiVincenzo. I think they're going to get Lowry on the personal. Nick Nurse is going to call a challenge here. It's going to be tough to overturn this. A lot of traffic down there. It's a tough one. I... I, I... Honestly, I think Larry might have got him on the arm. It's so tough to tell. Again, they need to they need to have clear video evidence that it wasn't a foul. And then even then, I think it'll probably be a jump ball. I didn't see what the ball at the end, but uh, Joel Embiid did get the ball. At he the did end come up there. with the ball, so it yeah. will be Sixers ball. That's a tough one, though. Reed, I like this. Joel Embiid, the pirate, peg leg and eye patch. What a guy, <laughs> dude! For That's real. That's a good one. If anybody wants to send in a super chat, you send in $10, you get in the running for a Tyrese Maxi jersey, and we'll announce the winner at the end of the series. You'll have to be present watching our watch party to see if you win. But $10, you support the show. We want to say thank you and put, in, put you in the running for a Tyrese Maxi jersey. Thanks to our friends at Fanatics. Big time call coming up here. Sip and dip. We need this game bad. Let's go Sixers. Yeah, this is a must-win game, really. 
Teams that go down 0-2 only win about 7% of the time. Successful challenge for Nick Nurse. Wow. Philadelphia basketball. They said Lowry tipped the basketball out of the hands of DiVincenzo. Clear recovery there for Joel Embiid. And now the Sixers get it back down 96-95, 237. Here in this fourth, game two, Knicks with the 1-0 series lead. So Tom Thibodeau with the successful challenge, Nick Nurse with the successful challenge, and Lowry will inbound. If you're just joining us, this is 76ers Now. I'm Chase Senior. Subscribe for year-round coverage of the Sixers, free agency, draft, in-season, off-season coverage. Maxi brings it up. Guarded by OG Ananobi. Maxi and Embiid have been tremendous in this game. Maxi to the mid range area. Back to Embiid. Embiid back to Maxi. Pull up. Jimmy got it to go. Sixers take the lead. Maxi with the deuce. 97 96. Maxi with 32 big ones and 10 dimes. It's the flu game for Mad Max. Brunson guarded by Batum. Looking for the screen. Matches up on Harris. Into the lane. Puts his shoulder down. Jumper short. Harris has it. Out to Maxi. Under two to go. Maxi lost it on the drive. And he said, my bad, right away. Tried to gather for the Euro. And on the gather, on the up, he lost it. Golden opportunity there. Brunson, 7 of 26. Six or stellar defensive effort against him. Maxi now on him. Out to Hart. Wide open three. He's short. Long rebound, Maxi. 90 seconds left. You need a bucket here. Need a bucket. Maxi on the Knicks logo. Guarded by Hart. Works off the screen from Embiid. Maxi behind his back. Looking for the step back to Embiid. Embiid to the elbow. Back out to Maxi. Open three from distance. Good! Maxi connects again! Sixers go up by four! What a pass by Embiid with the shot clock winding down! And Maxi about a foot and a half beyond the arc. Bang! 196! New York Knicks timeout. No way. Huge bucket as Maxi questionable for this game with the flu. Providing some daggers. No points in the third. He is showed out here in the fourth. And he leads all scores with 35. Get those zeros going for Maxi, baby. The franchise. What a shot. That's incredible. Gotta close this game out. Steal home court away from the Knicks. The Sixers here a minute nine from doing that. Man. You had the fader on the left side, the fader on the right side, and then the deep triple. 18-6, Sixers run over the last 620. Brunson will inbound to Hart, gets it back from Hart, guarded by Harris. Brunson trying to cook him into the lane. No good. Hartenstein battles for it. Goes to Hart, to DiVincenzo, to Ananobi. And then Ananobi fouled by Lowry on a play that could have been an offensive foul.
That's Lowry's fifth. And Nick Nurse is going to challenge this as well. 56 and a half seconds left. Sixers up by four. I thought Ananobi got him with the elbow to clear some space to get around him. Now, they're not going to show us the replay here. They got their bills to pay with the wing stop ad. We paid our bills with our prize picks ad. And I'm curious to see what happens here. Three hundred fifty-five people rocking with us here on Seventy Sixers now. Don't forget to hit that sub button. Can we get to fourteen thousand seven hundred subscribers tonight? I know that there's seventeen or nineteen people, excuse me, watching who haven't hit that sub button. Are you a Sixers fan? Yes. Do you want coverage every single day, nearly year round? Yes. Do you want free content? Yes. Do you want to stay in the know with the Sixers during the season, in free agency, in the draft, trade deadline? If that's a yes, hit that sub button. Oh, my God, that's an offensive foul. He wrapped his arm around Lowry. How is that on Lowry? It's taken a long time for them to review this. That is an offensive foul. By rule, that's an offensive foul. You cannot wrap your arm like that. He cleared him with the elbow and with the left arm. You know what's so funny? They're going to call us an offensive foul, and then our Knicks host is going to say, uh -huh. oh, the refs. That's, by rule, an offensive foul. You can't do that. By the way, you can tell when Embiid looks down at the camera, they just got an angle from him on the bench. His eyes messed up. Foul on the floor stands. Wow. There's no consistency to NBA officiating these days. Just absolutely none. So Sixers up by four here. I don't know how this is not an offensive foul. So Nick's inbound here. Brunson, Hartenstein, Hart, DiVincenzo, Ananobi. Batum, Embiid, Harris, Lowry, Maxi. Those are the lineups. Brunson will inbound to Hartenstein. Dribble handoff to DiVincenzo. Over to Ananobi. Now to Brunson in the corner. Short, battle for the loose ball to Kyle Lowry, and he's fouled! We're going to walk the floor. Lowry's going to go to the line, looking to extend this Sixers lead from four to six with 47.3 ticks left. We will be live for a post-game show reacting to this. Don't you dare go anywhere. 384 people hanging out, 130 likes right now. Let's get some more people in here. Like the video, support the show for free. Lowry, seven points, six boards, three dimes. First free throw, connects. 101, 96. Second free throw for Lowry. One bounce, spins the ball, up with it. No good. Five-point game. Brunson going to run down the floor. Good defense by Batum and Embiid. Now he's doubled, tries to split. Lowry pokes it free. Battle for the loose ball goes to DiVincenzo. 32 ticks left. Brunson for three. And he gets the roll. Two-point game. 101-99. It went off the front rim. Now the Knicks steal the ball away from Maxi to DiVincenzo for three. No good. Hartenstein battles for it. DiVincenzo another three. Good. Knicks take the lead.
102-101. Unbelievable. They stole it away from Maxi on the inbounds. No foul called. Brunson hit the first three, which went off the front iron and fell. Then the Sixers inbounded, and DiVincenzo missed his first three, took a second one, and swished it in. Lowry's hurt. 13.1 seconds left. I mean... I, that last scrum, there's no way, there's no foul called, some one way or another. There were bodies flying, guys were diving on the floor. Had his neck nurse, he had no timeouts left because he had one left. that challenge. No, there's no timeout. Well, they just used it. So he had one timeout left and he didn't take it. Ah. <sighs> The Sixers were up by five with under a minute to go. Brunson hits the three. DiVincenzo hits the three. Now the Knicks are up by one. And then Maxi fell to the floor. Josh Hart took it away from him. The ball went out to DiVincenzo. He missed. Hartenstein got the rebound, gave it to Ananobi, back to DiVincenzo, sunk the three. Sixers inbound, Batum, back out to Tyrese Maxey, trying to get downhill. He's going to try to lay it up. It's blocked. 6.6 6 seconds left, blocked by Hartenstein. Sixers fouled Ananobi. That's going to send him to the line. Ananobi's first free throw is good. No timeouts for the Sixers. Second chance opportunities crushing the Sixers again. And an OB second free throw. Good. Batum inbounds to Maxi. Maxi crosses half court. Three seconds left. Step back to Embiid at the buzzer. No good. Sixers lose. And we go back to Philadelphia with the Sixers down 2 0. Eight Knicks points in 27 seconds. How do you lose that basketball game? The Sixers were up. One oh one ninety six with forty seven seconds left. 
the Knicks end the game on an 8-0 run. <sighs> That's embarrassing. And it's the Villanova Wildcats, Jalen Brunson, Dante DiVincenzo with the two threes. You know, Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey have outplayed Jalen Brunson, and the Sixers are still down 2-0. You waste special, valiant performances from Joel Embiid on one leg and Tyrese Maxey, who is questionable all day with an illness. Appreciate the $10 super chat from Sean Brock. Thomas Bridges, thank you for the $2 super chat. Sean Brock, Mad Maxi, a true Philly bull. No doubt. He was incredible. And Thomas Bridges with the two. Philly Bambino curse strikes again. That is just excruciating. When Maxi hit that three to go up 196, he had 15 fourth quarter points. The Knicks had 17 points. All right, <clears throat> let's recap it here. Post-game show coming up. You want to get on it? Send in a super chat. God damn, that sucks. All right, let's recap it here on 76ers now. 
There have been many heartbreaking, disappointing, gut-wrenching Sixers losses in my lifetime. That right there might be on the Mount Rushmore. Philadelphia just wasted a valiant performance from Joel Embiid on one leg, in which Embiid was stellar all night, trying to will his team to a victory, dropping 34 points, 10 rebounds, 6 assists, a block, in 39 minutes of play. Tyrese Maxey, all throughout the day, questionable with an illness. He had 15 fourth quarter points, 35 points for the game. He hit a massive three to put the Sixers up by four with about a minute to go. And you thought that this series was shifting back to the Wells Fargo Center for game three on Thursday night, locked up at 1-1, and we had ourselves a series in what has been a very entertaining series up to this point. The Sixers were up after a Kyle Lowry free throw, in which he did go one of two on two of his free throw trips, costing this team no doubt. But the Sixers were up 101-96 with 47 seconds left. Then, with about 30 seconds left, Philadelphia still up by five. Jalen Brunson from the far corner takes a three. Good contest. Front iron drops in. Then the Sixers inbound the basketball. Tyrese Maxey is swarmed. You can make the argument maybe there could have been a foul. Nick Nurse does not call a timeout. Maxey falls to the floor. Knicks rip it away. Isaiah Hartenstein gets it, sends it to OG Ananobi, to Dante DiVincenzo. He takes the three. Bang. Knicks win the ballgame. It is hard to fathom how the Sixers found a way to lose that game. Losses like that make you question your fandom and why you continue to root on this team that since 2001 has provided all of us with heartbreaking loss after heartbreaking loss after heartbreaking loss. Now, is the series over? It's not over. But teams that are down 0-2 in the NBA playoffs have come back to win 7% of the time. The 76ers as an organization went down 0-2 in a playoff series are 0-19. And you have now wasted two games in which Embiid and Maxey have been tremendous. Where Jalen Brunson, the Knicks star, has been horrendous. And the Knicks have still taken both games at Madison Square Garden. Make sure you tune in for our watch parties throughout the playoffs. Subscribe to the channel. Big offseason awaits for Philadelphia with the most cap space in the NBA. We give you coverage year-round on the 76ers right here on Philadelphia 76ers now. It's really hard to come up with more thoughts on the Sixers losing that game. They did a much better job on the glass. They made a made a much better effort in stopping transition opportunities. They played really well. They once again held Jalen Brunson in check, where the MVP candidate was 8 of 29 from the floor. You did a lot right. You were down by five points going into the fourth quarter. You had the clutch performances that you wanted from your star players in Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey. That's what we've been asking for. That's what we've been begging for. For Embiid to show up massive in a playoff spot. For him to have a co-star who shows no fear on the biggest of stages. You got it. And he still lost. Because of a crazy, insane once in a generation type of ending and loss. And emotionally, 
You came back from that first game. You played this well in game two. That's impressive. Should have won. You didn't. Now emotionally, how are the Sixers going to be feeling going back home for game three? This is a good Knicks team. But you don't win game three at home on Thursday night. You are done. And both of those games there for the taking for Philadelphia. Prize Picks, our sponsor for this depressing, sad, hard to get through post game show. They make daily fantasy sports so easy. Pick two or more players, choose more or less on their projected stat lines. You can win up to 25 times your money. Get a $100 deposit match, prizepicks.com slash CLNS. These were our selections. For tonight's slate, Monday, across the NBA, and just like Philadelphia, we lost. Win big money, withdraw your winnings, pick more, pick less. Prize picks here today. We'll put that link down below in the comment section and in the description of this video. You talk about some of these individual performances here. How do you not respect Joel Embiid? How do you not respect the toughness, the will to win, the effort? Him managing to play through this knee injury, but also something's going on with his eye. He gives the Sixers 34 points, 11 rebounds. The minutes played, 39 of 48 minutes at 275, 280 pounds. The other star, Tyrese Maxey, 35 points after being sick all day. 12 of 22 from the floor, 15 points in the fourth quarter, and you wasted those efforts. Outside of Maxi and Embiid, you didn't get much. Tobias Harris, 10 points. Kyle Lowry, 8. Such a valuable player to what the Sixers are trying to accomplish in making a deep playoff run. Hustle plays, high basketball IQ. I love the man. Can't miss those two free throws. Kelly Oubre up to this point has been a nothing burger. Four points on two of seven shooting. The playoff inexperience has certainly showed. Nick Batum, six points. Paul Reed, two points. Buddy Heald, two points. Eight-player rotation. Steady usage through Embiid and Maxi. Again, they were great. Probably should have been a foul called on the inbounds to Maxi. Foul was not called. First, when Maxi tried to catch the ball, the ball went up in the air. Then he has it. He's double teamed again. Nick Nurse probably should have called a timeout there. He had one left. Then he falls to the floor because of the contact. No foul again. And that's what leads to the Knicks just pulling off these heroic efforts. It's a hard pill to swallow when you've done such a great job defensively on Jalen Brunson. The first two games, he's been terrible. Yet the Knicks are still up 2-0. Josh Hart, another great game. As the Nova Knicks continue to crush the Sixers. It's a tough pill to swallow. The Sixers finally draft a Villanova player. And then they trade him away. Michael Bridges for Zaire Smith. Who had a sesame seed allergy. Going to bring producer Chip in here. He's a little bit younger than me. He hasn't suffered as many of these heartbreaking defeats as I, but he suffered a lot, and this is just another one. And I see KOM in the comment section. Please effing help me. Yep. Need help too. It is just so brutal, and I hate to say this, but in the NBA playoffs, those are the type of blown opportunities that can lose you a series. They just are. Yep. You know, we were talking about it before the game. If you win this game, you go back home, a chance to win two games at home, go up 3-1 with momentum. Now, you go back home with your backs against a wall, needing to win two at home, realistically. The pressure's all on you now. You know, they say a series doesn't start till a team wins on the road, so hopefully you can take care of business at home, but what a wasted opportunity. If the Sixers are gonna win some games, they're going to need their other guys to step up. We haven't seen... Lowry was good game one. But this game, Tobias had 10 points in the first half. I believe he ended with 10. 
You're not getting anything from Uber, as you said. You're not getting anything from Lowry. You're not getting anything from anybody on the bench. We're seeing the Knicks win these games on the backs of their other players. Miles McBride came in in the fourth quarter, hadn't played really well all game. Miles McBride comes in in the fourth quarter and scores some tough buckets, gets some big baskets down the stretch. Bojan Bogdanovic hits a couple threes. Isaiah Hartenstein is getting boards, hitting push shots. It's just such a shame. And, and Nick Nurses came out after the game and said, I called timeout. The rest didn't hear me. He says he rewatched the end of the game, failed me. You can see him calling timeout. I haven't seen it yet, so I, I can't say whether or not that's true. He says he called timeout. Look, regardless, to even put yourself in that situation where Lowry misses that second free throw, where it could have been a six point game. He where... did try to call a timeout. I'm looking at the replay here. So it, this is fascinating because. The Sixers inbound after that Brunson make. It's it's 101.99. There's 27 seconds left. And Lowry is about to inbound. Nick Nurse has his hands up like this, right? He has not yet called a timeout. Maxi's doubled. He spins off of Hart and Brunson. Takes the inbounds. Loses the ball. So Nick Nurse can't call a timeout. As he's going to the ground with the ball, he has it. Nick Nurse turns, calls a timeout. Maxi still has it. He's signaling timeout. Then Josh Hart rips it away. Then he goes up to the ref. He's like, come on, come on. I called a timeout. That's the first DiVincenzo miss. Hartenstein skies for the board. Out to Ananobi, out to DiVincenzo. Blouses. And there it is. Just such a tough loss. Again, unless the Sixers get something consistent from Oubre, from Harris, from Buddy Heald, who's been a disaster, it's just such a shame you couldn't get one of these games without Brunson. Brunson's been terrible. You would hope to at least get one of those two games. You figure he's going to be better. Just wasted opportunity. And now you go back with a must-win game in Philly on Thursday. With Embiid, can his knee keep holding up? Can you keep getting these amazing performances by Maxi? That, that deep three-pointer he had in the pass from Embiid. Such a high for the Sixers and Sixers fans. We thought we were in the, in the clear. And now you're down 2-0. Yep. Yeah. Brandon Gatsky with the $5 Super Chat that we'll include here to wrap up our post-game show. Knicks will lose later, then have some contracts to pay. Yeah, that's funny. Down 2-0. I know living in this moment, it's such an excruciating loss. And I'm trying not to let emotion impact my outlook for the rest of the series. I'm sorry, I just don't, I don't see how the Sixers win. I mean, you've gotten great games from Embiid and Maxi here. You've kept Brunson in check, and you've still lost both games. Chip said it. Series doesn't start till a road team wins. But, man, Thursday becomes massive. Hey, we'll be here for you. Win or lose here on 76ers now. Make sure you subscribe to the program. Appreciate everybody for watching our watch parties and watching, as always, the Sixers find ways every single year to find new ways to kick us in the balls. All right, we're going to sign off. $62 in Super Chats. Thank you so much for the donations. Thank you so much for watching. That was our vent session. Thanks for venting with us. We'll see you again on Sunday. Hopefully it's a 2-1 series at that point because we'll be live Thursday for the NFL Draft. Sorry we can't bring you another watch party. NFL Draft is a pretty big deal. So we'll catch you Sunday. See ya.